Talk She. Recorded live. Good evening, folks. This is David Clarence expressly reserving all liberties. A notary on the land, York County, Nation, Pennsylvania, near the barfly infested corporate county of York and Commonwealth of Pennsylvania corporations as a host for a Voice of Freedom broadcast on TalkShoe.com. And we'd like to thank TalkShoe for this resource and opportunity to interact with you folks and uh, do these broadcasts and have our archives up on uh, TalkShoe uh, for you to download and listen to. This is um, the end of... uh, Sabbath. It's now the uh, Rotten Roman Cult Seder Day. <laughs> Excuse me, February the 20th, uh, 2010. The subject of tonight's uh, broadcast is court docket numbers being converted to legacy account- docket uh, or account numbers. They actually say uh, legacy docket numbers. I put uh, a proof of that up on uh, the uh, Google group. Yeah, proof and, of that uh, up on... Uh, uh, could you folks star six and mute yourselves out, please? Thank you. As a PDF file, it's... Uh, Two files, two docket records uh, joined together with uh, Adobe Acrobat. First part is uh, a docket uh, on the name uh, that the world used to regard me as. And uh, the second part of that is uh, Jeffrey Dale Soder up on uh, Perry County. Uh, Comparison of of two... uh, Courts of Common Fleas uh, dockets for the Corporate Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, so you could see the difference between uh, his and uh, the one they uh, try to regard as me. And uh, I've had somebody emailed me and asked me if um, if I was uh, announcing what we've been talking about the past uh, two, three weeks of being <clears throat> guarded by uh, Yahweh the Almighty to be able to um, take control of the vessel and uh, have all the uh, cargo uh, loaded into the vessel's uh, cargo hold uh, that's listed on the manifest for the vessel. Uh, asked me if if I was uh, reporting these things as uh, some type of uh, promotion or something to get folks to uh, tune into these broadcasts and, and listen, things like that. Um those of you that know me, I don't do that. Uh, I do these broadcasts for you. I, I have no personality or personal issues involving these broadcasts. I don't have an ego that uh, needs to be fed. And, and unlike uh, some people that used to be dentists uh, in New York, I don't have vanity plates on my party wagon. Um uh, my plates say Nation Pennsylvania, County York, the land, and the, uh, the meter maids uh, look at those uh, plates and they look at my U.S. Uh, DOT registrant status number and they walk around to the front of the windshield looking on both sides for an inspection sticker that isn't there and they shake their head and walk away and they see me uh stow my wheelchair left and turn around and and uh, roll off into the sunset without putting anything in their meter. And it doesn't seem to uh, provoke them into 
attempting to write a citation or anything because there's no registration plate they can't write the citation uh, Bill are you having now you now having sound problems here uh, Capri you're everyone else has uh, sound you're actually hearing me per se I believe you are no, they can't tow the vehicle. They don't have any juris conveyance. Uh, they don't have any jurisdiction over it. Okay. See, so you're only required to feed those meters if you have a registration plate. <clears throat> and uh, contracted with them. Uh, in either case, that's not the subject of tonight's broadcast. Um what's what we we have been able to accomplish folks uh, most of you won't realize this or you you won't understand it or you won't really get it the way I get it the way we get it uh, the commerce gurus don't get it it's driving them completely bonkers um, how this dumb Dutchman who <laughs> has never attended one of their seminars doesn't spend much time uh, uh, hardly at all in their uh, broadcasts and chat rooms Just doesn't uh, participate in their diluted uh, Yahoo and Google groups activities uh, could accomplish what they are uh, not able to and, and yet some of them uh, describe themselves as the foremost authority on on this subject, and especially the DTC, Depository Trust Company, or uh, Depository Trust Corporation. And yet, a little over a year ago, I had never heard of the DTC, and I have uh, my own private uh, senior analyst at my beck and call at the DTC, and he calls me. Uh, I don't have to call him. And, and you can see by the uh, those dockets uh, and what the rest of them show, exactly the same thing on, on the uh, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania Unified Court System uh, Common Pleas docket sheets as they've all been migrated. Uh, every one of those former charges or cases. And... Uh, where the judge's name was is no longer a judge's name there. It says migrated judge. <laughs> Do you ever, did you ever hear of such a thing? I mean, where'd that rascal migrate to? Uh, you know, uh, if, if this is a way to get all of these bar flies off of the, our shores of our sovereign uh, uh, continent, uh, <laughs> I, I'm going to run around and see if I can keep getting charged with things, but that's probably not possible anymore. The flip side of those dockets uh, being sanitized is that they can't create another docket. Uh, that is essentially uh, immunity to their system. Uh, how far that would carry me or, or where it would go, uh, to what lengths, I, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, just be conjecture on my part to, uh, as to what uh, immunity uh, is involved, but I would say it's complete immunity. I, unless we're mistaken, I have the same or senior status to the status of the Queen of England and the Pope at the uh, Vatican. Uh, can't touch me. Uh, could you folks star six and mute out, please? Getting a coughing in the background. So, the the uh, I am on the private side now. Uh, we've we talked. Uh, some time ago, I'm still getting background noise. Noise. Would you folks please star six and mute yourselves out, or I'm going to have to mute everyone. 
Um, thank you very kindly. The we were speaking a, a couple of weeks ago about completing this trust, and um, we still believe that that is critical. Uh, even uh, it may even apply to my status. Uh, my granting uh, took place uh, on the on the birthing day. Uh, we will be looking into that uh, in depth uh, over the next weeks, and if in fact uh, it needs to be done, or if we can't uh, obtain some uh, reliable uh, knowledge or information that we're confident in, then. I'll just uh, go ahead and do that for myself. I may very well do it anyway. We we kind of suspect that I may have already done that, uh, completed that original granting involving that uh, birth registration. Uh, we'll see, but we suspect I may have accomplished that. Uh, and uh, And we'll see. You folks still aren't muted out, uh, Star Six, and this is the last time I'm going to ask you before I mute everyone. <clears throat> so, what what I see going on here, uh, folks, some people are going to regard as just lucky, you know, like hitting a lottery or something like that. Uh, stumbling onto something, and uh, but that's not what it is. It it, it just isn't. Uh, we understand this process uh, inside and out now, and you can't stumble on this. It it's not possible. Uh, these commerce gurus are are going berserk, pulling their hair out, trying to figure out how we did this, and. They're just not going to be successful. It's um, it's a puzzle, and it's it's a a complex puzzle. It's so complex that you have to take five sets of puzzle boxes uh, uh, with uh, let's say a thousand pieces in each box and dump them all together in a pile and then pick out the pieces of this puzzle and put that piece together. And what you will end up with is a mosaic of pieces from all the puzzles that will then form a new completed puzzle. And to do that, it it would be simpler uh, working your way through a maze. And it's and and that is part of it also. Uh, it's um, it's a maze, but it's a maze that you cannot make a mistake in. You get one shot to go through from beginning to uh, to the end, and if you make one wrong turn, you're disqualified, and you do not get to go back to. to to uh, start or to go and start over again. Um, Guest 32 is asking for plain English, and that's as plain as I can give it to you. uh, And Guest 24, you're correct. Uh, I am a private bank now. I'm a foreign bank of central issue. And uh, as a result of this, so, guess 31, you're asking what's the next step. Well, the next step is find your way through the maze and find the right boxes of puzzles and put your own together. Uh, we're not going to teach you folks this uh, because it's not given to you. Uh, this may seem selfish to you or... or uh, uh, you may think that we're just being uh, elitists or something like that. Uh, if you know us and, and know me well enough, you know I don't 
conduct myself that way. I, I'm in the business of teaching people. I've been doing that for over 38 years, and uh, that's why I started these uh, these broadcasts uh, <clears throat> four years ago. Was to teach you folks. It's just that this is this is something that is given to us by what we know is your creator. And if you want to know it, uh, do not come to us and ask how to do it. You go to him. Uh, your, your question or your uh, uh, goal does not involve us. And it's uh, not our decision to make. It's his. And you work that out with him. He will put it in our hearts to do that for you, and we will do that. That's the only way you're going to get it. Uh, it's uh, just the way it is, what we believe. You know, um, I was sitting out in the parking lot this afternoon. Uh, I had a tomcat out getting him some fresh air and sunshine. Uh, you can't go anywhere because everything's covered with snow. And if I go out with him, then, uh, then I don't have a big issue trying to get his uh, rascal butt back in. Uh, he comes back in with me. And I'm um, sitting there thinking about this and uh, speaking with someone on the phone. And I told them, I said, you know... Uh, I said, "What's? Uh, can you star six out, please? Mute your phone. Okay, I'm going to block everyone now. <clears throat> and after I'm finished, then I'll unblock, unmute everyone. Um, I don't like to do that, but... Uh, it's going to be time-consuming, expensive to have uh, someone edit these broadcasts. So I was telling them I, that, you know, I've spent the past week uh, basically in prayer and uh, giving gratitude and asking for wisdom and help on how to deal with this, all of these uh, financial resources. I, I realized three weeks ago when this worked what was going to happen, and I I prayed to our Father Yahweh in heaven and telling him what he already knows, that I'm not a Solomon. Uh, I may very well end up with... Uh, control over the wealth of Solomon but I don't have the wisdom of Solomon I am not Solomon uh, I am David Clarence and I make mistakes uh, more than I'd want to list so um, it, um, it, it it has dawned on me and I, and I told this individual I was talking to today, I said, you know, this, the scariest part of this is <laughs> Yahweh actually hears my prayers. He really hears them. That's frightening. And moreover, um, <laughs> I'm going to have to behave myself, I, I would suppose. But um, uh, I, I, I tell you, uh, something I did, uh, and it's related to this be, because it's all part of the same thing. Um, I got the call that these commerce people talk about, but I didn't get the call. I got an email and told to call a number. And uh, those of you who are commerce uh, savvy, you'll understand us. That that what happened on Wednesday, and I made the call 
or got the call and uh, was advised when the uh, the uh, rendezvous would take place with the Treasury. Now, that was on Wednesday. On Thursday, the Federal Reserve announced that it had increased the interest on the loans it makes to banks by one quarter of 1%. Now, you folks go on the Internet, type that in. Uh, Fed raises uh, interest one quarter or something like that. And you read that article. And you'll see that they went to great pains to explain that that was not a deviation or an indication that they were going to continue raising the interest rates. That the interest rate uh, that they were raising was only to the banks. And they explained in there that the reason they did it was because all the currency that they had flooded the market with to bolster the uh, the, col- the the economy, okay, was no longer needed. So that's why they were raising the interest rate one quarter of one percent to re- to cause a restriction on uh, on the flow of currency and currency to come back to the Fed and not be in circulation. They did that because something happened that no longer required all of that currency to be out there to keep the economy afloat. Or something was about to happen. Now, you're going to hear this from me tonight, and I'm, going, I'm telling you it's going to happen this week. This week, the Treasury, the Obama, uh, the Fed, the Democrats, or somebody will announce that the national debt, that they've been successful, and I don't know what excuse they'll use their loans to uh, uh, the banks or their loans to uh, uh, GM uh, motor, you know, uh, the automotive uh, manufacturing or whatever has been successful, and they were now able to lower the uh, national debt. And you look at the at that amount of, that's been lowered, and that's the amount that I have access to. Why that's happening is because all of this debt and this bonding and everything that they've been doing involving the name uh, for over 62 uh, years now has now all been called in. See, that was the call on Wednesday. Now, those of you who are, understand stock and securities trading and commerce procedures, the formula is T or Thomas, T plus 3. I made the call, or the call was made, on the securities or the the uh, financial instruments, security instruments, bonds, on Wednesday, and they now have three days to clear the books and return all of that uh, inventory that's on listed on the manifest for the vessel, uh, they need to get it off of the pier and load it onto the vessel and the cargo hold and surrender that manifest on Monday. And then you will see how much the national debt fell. Now, when you see that, imagine what's going to happen to the national debt when, let's say, 12 of us do this. Now, mine may be higher than others because if we're correct, uh, what this is going to involve is the uh, bonding that began with my great-grandfather. He was still alive when Social Security came in. 
and my grandfather and my father and myself. Uh, I'm not sure of <clears throat> what uh, business or financing or <clears throat> loans or whatever my great-great-father may have been involved in. I suspect probably uh, farms, uh, something like that. But my grandfather was a multi-multi-millionaire. And between my dad and I, we've owned, uh, gosh, I don't I don't even know anymore. I, I, I'd have to go and look at the deed records, probably four to 700 properties in the county of York over the years, and a lot of mortgages, a lot of loans, uh, a lot of uh, civil lawsuits. Over a thousand were, where over a thousand, I don't know, were listed uh, with the civil side of this barfly court in here involving uh, vendors and contractors we had problems with, and then, of course, landlord-tenant eviction complaints and things like that over the years, uh, different things like that. So, uh, And I was involved in businesses and, and uh, the restaurant business and had all the toys and things like that, and... Uh, I, I imagine uh, there's an awful lot of uh, bonding that was going on and on the private side in the background involving all those things, and it's uh, going to be quite a sum of credits. Uh, it's not real money, it's uh, just credits. So, uh, this, yeah, Harkin says uh, T plus 3 is transaction date or the call date plus 3 days equals settlement date. Uh, uh, and uh, so anyway, this is uh, all tied in with with these uh, uh, court cases uh, being migrated, now receiving legacy docket numbers in addition to the normal court docket numbers and being migrated uh, and a judge is being migrated judge and the prosecutor no longer showing up uh, being named it's an unknown attorney and he's marked private and his status is now active and uh, he's re uh, representing <laughs> uh, it says uh, the address of who he's rep his residence is Schroll, comma David C., the former defendant cor uh, entity, corporate entity in the case. How does that make sense? Uh, things that have never been seen before. So... That's what's going on. <clears throat> uh, I went into the bank Friday. I uh, was out running around, uh, running some errands, and went by the bank. And just, uh, I kind of uh, was thinking about going over and just stopping in front of the window in my wheelchair and wave at the at the girls in there. I'd done that before. Uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, just carrying on. Uh, but uh, it, it was given to me to go inside the bank instead of doing that, just waving through the window. So uh, this man uh, walked up and, and held the door for me and left me left me in. And when I got inside out of the vestibule, uh, there was a carpeted area there, so I went over to the right where there's a a, uh, a, a stand there uh, for people to stand there and fill out uh, deposit slips and things like that. And I tried to stay on the carpet. I didn't want to uh, mess their floors up. I knew my wheelchair had picked up water and maybe gravel or, or something out there on the, on the streets. And uh, I the, turned around, and there were two... Uh, tellers, bank tellers there. Uh, and they both uh, turned and looked at me and nodded their heads and acknowledged that I was sitting there. Uh, then the one that was standing uh, at a normal teller window 
she uh, told me that this uh, bank officer uh, was in uh, uh, working on a project, and uh, she would be uh, with me in a f- in a few minutes. Uh, the other teller was nearer to me uh, in a uh, behind a very low slung counter. When you first walk walk in, it's almost like desk height, and it it's uh, half of a circle there, and they have two teller uh, stations behind that. She was at one of those helping two two people that were there, and she counted out uh, some uh, currency for them, and they took that and left. And uh, and we chit-chatted a little bit about the weather and uh, a couple of things, and then the large office uh, door for the bank opened up, and uh, the bank manager came out. And she walked all the way across the bank uh, to where I was to tell me that uh, this bank officer uh, is uh, uh, finishing up part of the the project that she's working on, and she'll be able to uh, uh, come out and and, uh, uh, take care of whatever uh, I'm there for. Now... What's going on there, folks, is I have a personal banker. <clears throat> and those tellers and the bank manager herself know that they can't handle my, my account. They cannot interact with me. They nod and and uh, uh, bid me uh, good day, courtesies. But they don't ask me. Everybody else that comes in there, they say, can I help you? Uh, is there something we can help you with, you see? They didn't ask me that because they can't handle my account. Only my personal banker can do that. She's the only one that has a has been given a bond uh, big enough to cover what's in that account. And even the bank manager's bond isn't high enough. So it requires my personal banker. So uh, anyway, she came out and I had a couple of questions I wanted to ask her, and I did that, and and, uh, and then I left. Um, then uh, this morning, um, I wanted to run in town to the farmer's market and pick up a couple of things. And so I did that. And uh, <laughs> uh, as a result of uh, my having to get my disability reinstated after I was abducted uh, August the 3rd by the FBI, uh, I ended up with, uh, uh, and I'm not sure exactly how this happened, but I ended up with food stamps from the Pennsylvania Department of Welfare. And uh, what it is is uh, they call it uh, an EBT card. And it's uh, like a debit card, and and you use that uh, to purchase uh, food. You can't buy uh, alcohol or tobacco or non-food items with it. But uh, uh, I w- we've been uh, we we've, we've been surmising that the all record of the name has been wiping being wiped out systematically uh, from the public that it no longer exists. And we've been uh, wondering what's going to happen with my Social Security disability, uh, among some other things. And I'll be darned, uh, I I tried to purchase uh, some food items from uh, one of the farmers uh, there today, and the food uh, the food stamp card came up bad card. Now, uh, I, I understand how due process works, and uh, it, when when they sent me that card, they included information on if uh, they're going to uh, uh, cancel or suspend or uh, something like that, uh, the food stamps or whatever various uh, due process rights that the, uh, the party has. And 
you have like 10 days to file an objection. And uh, if you don't file an objection, then they can cancel your uh, benefits in 30 days. Uh, but if there's funds on that card, once it's put there, they can't take them away. There were funds on that card today or yesterday. But that can't. That card is not functional anymore. That is not coming up. That uh, it's not approved because there's no funds there. See, it came up. I have the printout from the register uh, the terminal that the uh, cashier tried to enter the information. The, she swiped the card and entered my PIN number, <laughs> and it printed out bad card. Bad card, bad card, <laughs> bad card. I guess the card didn't behave, you know. Uh, what that says is it's canceled, and I no longer have Social Security disability. Now, they will, uh, they'll send the name uh, uh, a United States Treasury check on the third of March because they're a month behind. But this will be the last one, and I'm kind of curious to see if I get any. Uh, paperwork uh, from the Pennsylvania Department of Welfare, Welfare or the Social Security Administration explaining why the benefits have been terminated. I don't believe I'm going to. They just disappear. Because uh, even the Department of Welfare has been bonding that food stamp account. See? And every time I use that food stamp card, that transaction, they've been out bonding that cotton picking thing in the background and they have to bring all of those assets in now and uh, surrender them to uh, the master of the vessel so uh, that was uh, uh, another of, of many things over these past uh, uh, couple weeks that uh, very, very very telling and I see Timothy's come on here uh, and uh, see if I can unblock you, unmute you rather. <laughs> I can't. No, can't unmute you. Cotton picking uh, window. Um, so. That's uh, pretty much what I have to report to you today. What's transpired in this past week? There's a lot of thing, other things going on. Uh, we're st still our main interest is in getting folks out of jail that are in jail unjustly, and uh, stopping foreclosures and things like that. Uh, the uh, everything else that's coming along with this is just. Uh, uh, frosting on the cake, so to speak, and will just enable us, give us the resources to uh, retain uh, uh, professional and uh, competent uh, uh, assistance to further those goals and aims. Uh, we're not uh, uh, going to disappear. Um, I, I'm... Uh, Encouraged by the messages you folks have sent me, and, uh, uh, and and especially regarding our rescheduling this broadcast tonight, and uh, our not disappearing, which we didn't tend to do anyway. So, uh, uh, Jimbo wants to know how much dough are you, am I getting? I'm not getting any. There is no money. See, uh, so don't know. So I'm going to mute all you folks, and I'm going to ask you to uh, star six and mute yourselves back out again. Uh, if there's background noise from anyone that doesn't do that, I'll, I'll mute you, and then you won't be able to to speak unless you uh, star eight and get in a query, and uh, or uh, Timothy, uh, do you want to say something? Star eight your phone if. And uh, 
get in a query and see if that'll work. It should. Doesn't work. Can't star eight. Or you're busy with family. Okay, I'm going to unmute everyone. Please star six and mute yourselves back out again. Theoretically, I'm going to unmute everyone. <laughs> Theoretically, I'm going to unmute everyone. Great. It's not working. <laughs> of course it's not working. This is Microsoft product. Okay, let me close this cotton pick and host window out here. And... Uh, I'll open that up again once I re-log into TalkShoe because it's uh, booted me because of no activity, although I'm sitting here doing the broadcast. The talk software doesn't seem to recognize that I'm doing that. Hey. Now, if you folks would start six and mute yourselves back up. Thank you very kindly. <laughs> Doyle Smith won't help you. That's only a piece of the puzzle. Don't take my word for it. I'm going to try it anyway. Timothy? Can you hear me, David? I can, my friend. Awesome. How are we doing? I'm doing pretty cotton-picking good. i got some Chevis Regal on ice here tonight. There you go. <laughs> Not much of it, but i got a little here. Had a little in the pipes. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think about him canceling my disability? <laughs> Leave me penniless with no nothing to eat. I got to go out here and sell pencils on the street and, and uh, get a sign. Uh, Ram, ramen noodles. I'll, I'll tell jokes for a for a uh, for a quarter. <laughs> uh, I'm sure, you'll be taken care of. Well, we're in pretty good shape. <laughs> Yahweh provides. <laughs> Randy says, and with a monkey, yeah. Get a monkey. <laughs> There's a, a, somebody that has one of those. They have a York Street Fair every Mother's Day here. And uh, he comes out, brings a monkey out, and... and uh, he hand him a coin, he takes a coin, puts it in his bag, tips his hat. Stuff like that. Pretty neat. Uh, one of those Carpathian monkeys, I think it is, uh, however you pronounce that, other than how a Dutchman does it. It's pretty cute. Dirty animals. <laughs> but to care for, but uh, but cute. So, anyway, I'm interrupting you. Are we going to get you to talk? I'm kind of in between. Uh, I came outside to have a quick smoke. Ah, there you go. It's, uh, How much snow did you get out there last night? Not much <laughs> because it's all gone. <laughs> did rain come in behind it like it looked like it was going to? It, it was a really wet snow, and it started to rain before it snowed but today it hit 40 i believe and everything's virtually melted now snow's 
pretty much gone. <laughs> Bill says, I'm not a comedian. Keep my day job. Okay, Bill, I'm going to send you a million dollars. So, yeah. It, uh, beautiful here today. Uh, this other storm front's coming in now. We're supposed to get something on Monday. I don't know what it'll end up being. Uh, they don't know yet, but it's going to be rain or snow. Probably rain. Yeah. Well, folks are tired of all this uh, winter we've had here with all this uh, sub-freezing weather temperature all the time. This, the ski slopes, of course, are loving it. Probably one of the best seasons they've had. Too bad nobody's working can buy tickets <laughs> and ski equipment. Oh, uh, it's uh, been good for the ski industry and uh, people who sell road, uh, road chemicals and uh, salt and things like that. Plow operators and such. Hard on everybody else. So, um, are there a lot of uh, men and women on the call tonight? Uh, yeah, it's a pretty good audience. Uh, let me see here. I didn't even pay attention. Oh, 52. By gosh. Almost as popular as a new commerce guy. That's a good number. Let the commerce gurus have the big crowds. They're all spinning their wheels. Like a Chevy Nova. <laughs> Randy, all bank all bank tellers and bank officers have bonds from surety companies. They all have to be bonded. You work in a bank. Uh, if you're the cleaning crew, it comes in there at night uh, working for some janitorial service. You're bonded. <laughs> you don't get in there if you're not a uh, customer uh, without a bond. And actually, the customers are bonded un- under being known to them. Well, kind of low-key tonight. Ran out of steam early. Yeah. Yeah. Me me too. <laughs> About 10 a.m. this morning. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we've been we've been hitting so many highs uh, for, what, the past three weeks. It's, it's like never coming down off of the peak, you know. Yeah. It's starting to take its toll. Yeah. As we see these things happening, and uh, uh, all the things that you you predicted uh, would be happening, and proved out again today with that disability uh, being terminated without any prior notice and and uh, opportunity to uh, object. <laughs> Didn't uh, have a choice on that one. Hmm. Yeah, they pretty much took care of that, didn't they? Yeah, pretty much. But it all fits into the puzzle. Yes, it does. Well, uh, Tim's not in the chat. He's just called in. The answer is no. You won't get an answer. <laughs> <laughs> I won't get an answer to, oh, is there a question or something? Yeah, I have a question for you about did you get a card yet, and he's not going to answer the question. You're you're not going to. Or you can correct me if you want. No, that answer's fine with me. Randy wants to know how it can help people out of incarceration. Uh, it's still conjecture on our part, but it appears as though those uh, cases, uh, which are actually claims, uh, can be claimed by uh, uh, by the new company official, and uh, 
brought into the uh, cargo hold of uh, of the vessel and put on the manifest, and then they'll have to release the people from custody because all the claims are settled. Is that close enough, Timothy? Yeah, that's, that's the way I see it. It's yeah. Just some paper out there, bonded up that case. It's just One, like in, any other debt. Yeah, one phone call. Don't have to go anywhere, visit anybody, do any paperwork. Yep. Never, leave, never leave home without it again. One call does it all. Looks like I got my uh, right to keep and bear arms re-recognized yesterday. All diplomats, all diplomats are able to uh, protect themselves. Yep, the captain of the vessel can be armed any time he wants to. A lot of privateers and mutineers. Yeah, Cappy, am I insured? Yes. Self-insured. Oh my goodness, are you insured? <laughs> <laughs> more, more assets than a rock. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to find out the correct term for that. I presume it. You're correct there. Self-insured, self-bonded. Self-surety. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's no public insurance company out there that could. <laughs> they, they all deal in debt paper. Yeah. We're, we're dealing with the assets of the trust now. Real substance. Nothing... Exactly. Yeah, real substance. Doyle Smith's asking if the uh, W-8-B-E-N or the W-8-I-M Yahweh forms would help remove uh, a body from prison. You want to answer that? I, uh, it's my opinion that yes, it would. Either yes, they would. Now, how that would be done and who it would be given to, you know, that's a matter of conjecture, if you will. But yes, I, I do believe that. Would be so. Cotton picking host one that keeps locking up on me here. Chat's not updating. Fortunately, I have a backup Vista system running that uh, is updating the chat room. Theoretically. <laughs> There we go. We're getting a new host window back. Finally. Thank you. Bill Gates. How kind of you. Yeah, I tell you what. Vista, that thing is, that's an ugly beast. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Linux all the way. Well, we're going to wipe the hard drives on these systems and Donate them to the mission store. Otherwise, they'd be used for clay pigeons. You know what? I'm gonna. We've talked about this, David, and I might as well. I got a few more minutes before I need to head back inside. But let me ask: and if, if are you you're able to see the chat board? Yes. Let me ask if anyone knows what occurred on Thursday, two days ago. I already and, told him. I already told him. Oh, you already told him about that, huh? Yeah. You want to yeah. explain explain that? You can do it better than I can. Well, just think about um, the Federal Reserve Banks. Um, you know, they have the prime rate. There's the prime rate. There's what's called the LIBOR rate, L-I-B-O-R. And there's a thing, there's interbank rate where banks loan other banks. Uh, funds overnight, like an overnight loan rate. And then there's also the rate that the Fed charges banks to 
basically use their currency. So when they order from the Fed, et cetera, for their their business, their their weekly business for their customers, et cetera. And uh, very interesting this week that there was an article in the New York Times, and I presume it was carried other places, but it was predominantly where I read the information was from the New York Times, and it read, in surprise move, Fed, blah, 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 to normal or something like that. And what I gleaned from the article was uh, uh, the nuggets that were there that it was highly stressed that this is not a, uh, this is a quote unquote surprise move. And uh, they, they didn't want it to appear. And it, it said the public in the marketplace is this would be something that is uh, going to keep occurring. And that's why they named it a surprise. And they haven't touched that rate for over a year. And then all of a sudden, in a surprise move, that's the, the heading of the uh, article, they raised the rate a quarter of a percent. Now, when you look at the money supply, when the Fed raises the rate for, for uh, loans to uh, member banks, if you will, what that's going to do, of course, it's just a higher rate of uh, borrowing. So as we all know, if the rate goes higher for a borrower, the chances of them borrowing money is going to decrease. Now, when the Fed does this, it's, it's to contract the money supply. It is to bring um, um, their hope, if you will, and this is, you know, economic stuff, but the theory goes, I guess we could say this, is uh, when they raise the rates, they're going to look for a, a, a contracting of the money supply. It's going to constrict itself. So there's not going to be as many FRNs, if you will, or liquid out there in the market for banks to uh, borrow. And if they do so choose to borrow, they're going to pay, I believe it's a quarter of a percent now. And uh, so you got to think about this. If there's a set amount of uh, currency, if you will, in the money supply, and they raise the rate in the hopes of contracting that supply, I just wonder if they're looking at it that I guess this is what I gleaned from reading between the lines in this quote-unquote surprise move is that they are presuming that somewhere in the – in the marketplace, there's going to be an infusion of outside, uh, how do I say this, of outside currency, if you will, from some other source. Now, can I prove, well, that's that that's the premise on, on which it's going there. Like, like from M1, Monetary One. Yes, Monetary One, exactly. Exactly. There's there's going to be no. Uh, um, this this will be David one. <laughs> it yeah. It's uh, um. It, it's just very interesting. Now I have uh, an idea as of why that occurred, especially on Thursday. <laughs> um, just the background to that is amazing. Now, my idea as of why exactly they did that. Can I prove it? No, I cannot prove it. I can't put it on paper and this, that, and the other. But I definitely have an idea as of why they did it, and especially why on that day. And uh, it's just amazing. It makes perfect sense. And about the only thing I could say to back it up would be the uh, story that Sam Davis has discussed about Hartford Van Dyke when he – uh, I believe it was a lien for half of a billion, with a B, half a billion dollars, and he returned that over, um, assigned it, if you will, I believe is how he did it, to Social Security. And then, it's, as the story goes, the next day, Bill Clinton, then president, comes out and says, yeah, I'm the first sitting president who's ever had a uh, payment uh, made into the Social Security Trust Fund. And how the story goes, he he basically takes the credit for that occurring on his watch, if you will. That's about the only thing that can happen. Would he come out and say, well, the reason this occurred is because a man filed a lien and assigned it over to Social Security? No. Or or that's not 
That's not. It's not going to be uh, told like that in the mainstream uh, propaganda paper. So it's 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 just a read between the lines thing, and it's just very interesting, and it just makes a lot of sense. It's like everything else we've seen. Can we can we uh, truly explain it? Yeah, we definitely have our ideas, and we just apply, you know, the guidebook, if you will, as to how it happens. But will someone actually come out? and actually divulge, divulge and say, yes, because of this, this occurred. Who knows, David? We might uh, be pulled aside someday from some higher up and said, yeah, that's exactly what happened. And you'll probably say, you didn't hear that from me. I don't know what you're talking about, and this, that, and the other. And, you know, that's the way it works. So be it. Very, very interesting stuff. Very they, interesting. They- they stated in that article that they had flooded the markets with currency to keep the economy afloat, and they no longer feel that that's necessary to do that. Exactly. Yeah. So we have to ask ourselves then, why Why is it then that that's not necessary anymore? Well, there's going to be an infusion from somewhere else. That's other how than, I see it. Other than the Federal Reserve or the U.S. Treasury. Yes, that is Pri- correct. Private funds. Yes. Yeah. Trust assets. Yes, trust assets. And that's where M1 comes in. M1 is the trust. Yeah, that's the that goes if you read that uh, document titled "The Brief." That's where they uh, show it coming from, all the way back to King Solomon. Right. Right to M1. So they'll be announcing after Monday sometime this week that the national debt's been reduced. Yeah, that'll be interesting if they do that. That'll be very interesting. And if, if say, 12 of us do this, maybe the national debt would be wiped out. That and probably a lot of those uh, toxic derivatives that they say are on the market everywhere. Clog in the marketplace. Can you, excuse me, can you folks star six and mute yourselves out? Is that Indiana just came in? Thank you. I'm sorry, sorry. David. That, that might have been me too. I had a group of men and women walk by me here on the sidewalk. Oh, you're going to wild parties already. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I can just hear my wife now. She's probably wondering where in the heck I am. So. On the phone with that darn David again. <laughs> Yeah. Does anyone else have any questions before I, for for me, before I skedaddle? I'm, I'm sure I'll be back after a bit if the call's still on, but. Why is there air? How about the agreement to that uh, when they created the Fed? that uh, you can buy it for $450 million and then the United States would own the debt. Why is that there? When they well, first cr- created the Fed, you could buy it for 40 or $50 million, he's saying. That was gold dollars. No, right now, you can buy it for $450 million. It's in the agreement. So why don't the United States do it? Because they don't have the authority. They don't have any gold. Since the bankruptcy, all the gold went into uh, escrow. That That's what's going on with me and my father and my grandfather and my great-grandfather. It's all their the bonding that was done on their Social Security uh, account. Is, uh, there's gold notes to cover all of that, say, or actual gold. The United States doesn't, doesn't have doesn't have any gold. So they can't pay the debt. They're 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 bankrupts. They're insolvent. The, it doesn't have to be gold. Oh yes it will. Well yeah, I I'd, I'd say it has to, it has to be gold. But see you, here's you, you can't pay it with Federal Reserve notes, you just create debt. You don't pay anything. Well okay, here here's the deal, the way I see it. The there are a bunch of vessels out here. And the United States presumes it has authority over these vessels, which are, in fact, pieces of a large trust. Now, they have the authority uh, to administer 
these uh, trust funds, if you will, for this name that they have uh, um, placed on these uh, documents, for example, like a certificate of live birth. Now, it's basically, when you look at what uh, our mothers did, um, you know, when they, when they sign over and sign that application um, for the child's name and the vessel they've created, it's basically handing over, it, it's giving, it's a ward of the state. They're, they're basically making the child a ward of the state. And along with that comes the ability for these um, um, members or officials, if you will, of the United States, the dock master, the coast guard, you know, who it has to be around there somewhere. Um, actually, I know where it is, you know, we know where it is, but it, so something has to manage those assets. They have to manage them. They can't go out and spend them. They cannot go out and uh, use those assets to pay down the national debt or pay the $450 million and this, that, and the other. They have no authority to do that. That authority falls back to the men and women once they go in and they, they are given that status, they then have the authority to take care of that, if you will. And this is why every bond they created, every derivative, every note that they create off of a signature, that's why that applies to the national debt. And once these accounts are collapsed, if you will, that's why the national debt will decrease because they have to get rid of all those underlying assets. They've been called. Uh, research options, calls and puts. Calls, the right to buy, obligation to sell, put, uh, the right to sell, the obligation to buy. That's exactly what's going on here, calls. And once the call's made, there's a time frame for clearing the trade. And once the trade clears, everything settles. That's exactly what we're working with here. So could, could uh, like David just said, 12 men walk into the U.S. Treasury and say, hey, we're going to pay down the national debt or pay down the $450 million in assets? I believe they could. I believe they could. Now, would this system uh, want that to happen, if you will? I, I don't know. I suppose it, it all depends on who you talk to. Maybe that's why Obama and the administration, Congress, et cetera, just raised the debt level from what nine point some trillion to twelve trillion or fourteen trillion. They they just don't do that on a whim. It, it's just uh, that's not just done just to do it. Something had to occur in the background to give them the ability and the authority to do that. Now we might think it's because our these elected representatives uh, allowed this to happen and this that and the other. Well. I, I say no to that. Something else happened on what we uh, so eloquently call the private side that's going to bounce itself over to the public side and allow them to increase that amount. There, there's stuff working in the background all the time. That's why this 0.25 interest rate increase, something happened for them. Something made them do it. That's why that article was said, you know, this is, this is a surprise move. We don't want the market to get jittery and think we're going to keep raising rates because basically what they're saying is we have to do this. And I hope I didn't put David to sleep by talking about that stuff. <laughs> Not yet. Sounds like you're going back inside before you get yelled at. Well, I'm going to finish this smoke before I do. Mm. <laughs> okay, folks, you're echoing back on, on me. Somebody mute their uh, phone out, please, star six. Randy wants you to come back. Uh, Tim may not be able to do that. He's yeah, I got, I got about five minutes. Yeah, he wants you to come back then. Yeah, I'll definitely try my best. I'm at a I'm at a um charity event for for uh child advocacy. They go um 
when children are in, let's say, an abusive household or something of that nature, there's what's called a child advocate, and it's appointed by the court. And it's a private organization that goes in and uh, speaks with the child, helps them basically cope with what they're dealing with, and is their advocate if if the court, I guess, deems that child needs to testify against someone, whether it be family or something, you know, just some crazy abuse situation. Yeah. So it's a good thing. Yeah. That's something we'll be focusing on here very soon. Anthony, you keep getting knocked off tonight. <laughs> and the phone's doing it to you. Hey, Tim, it's Bruce. How you doing? It's who? Tim- Bruce. Bruce? Yeah. Hey, when... when uh, on on options trading, when you when you sell a call, I mean, it, the money goes to the account on the next business, the next trading day, does it not? You mean the contract itself? Yeah, if you're selling an option contract, if you're selling a call, when you when you when you sell the call the next business day, the the funds are placed in the account. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Okay. I I was looking at um, you you've got a trading time a T plus three. So let's say that option expires on the third Friday of each month. Options expire on the third Friday of each month. Correct. If we're, correct. If we're, if we're talking about American options. Yeah. And um, now if, if, the, uh, if the holder of that contract chooses to exercise it, that underlying uh, stock has to be delivered T plus three. Yes. That's what I was focusing on. Okay, okay. And that was it. That was it. That was it. <laughs> That's all there is, man. <laughs> this is all this is all uh bonds and, and stocks and options. It, it's it's the same thing. It, um just just go back to where what's the underlying investment then? What what's backing all that up? There has to be something backing that up. There has to be something of substance, if you will. And if we trace that back, that's where M1 comes in. Why is it that no one at the bank, even the manager, can deal with me when I go in there? Different status. (laughs) Different status. That's what I say. What do you say, David? Yeah, my account's closed. You know, I don't rate uh, normal uh, service. (laughs) They're probably saying, oh, no, not this guy. (laughs) (laughs) No, private banker. Just, Just the way it should be. Anybody listening to this broadcast got any ideas? Uh, <laughs> I'd forget them if I were you. Armed to the teeth and Jax is standing by. J-A-X, Guardian Angel. You don't see Jax, but Jax sees you. And so does our Father in Heaven. Amen. That's who I'd be worried about. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Knuckleheads that get such ideas, uh, they believe that it's all, that's all nonsense, and they can't figure out what, why everything goes wrong in their life. Well, set a fire up the street here, about three doors in an apartment building where there's drug dealers. Uh, as they knock them off, new drug dealers move in over the past years and uh, somebody started a fire in the, in the vestibule in the first floor hallway and, and uh, as a result of that the 
firemen show up and the police and they find drug paraphernalia and drugs and stuff like that and they're all being let off <laughs> in bare feet in the snow in handcuffs the police cars wearing t-shirts and uh, they'll think oh just bad luck you know that, that idiot started to fire or I would have never got caught and you know they're sitting down out at the county telling all their drug dealing uh, war stories and they have this and they have that and they have these women and they have those women and they don't have anything anymore they'd be lucky if they get commissary and a visit you know they never had anything to worthwhile have to have to begin with but they don't see that and uh may never you know you cannot do on this earth what is not the will of almighty Yahweh period that is correct Once Only one has a proper understanding of that. Huh. Scripture describes that as the fool who follows his own <clears throat> ideas and uh, his own mind. Uh, anybody got any else have any questions for Timothy or, or myself? Uh, open the program up to uh, questions, comments, and criticism. Star six and mute yourself out. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Guest 12 says five boxes of puzzles. Uh, th that's just an estimate uh, uh, that I gave you that y you would dump five boxes of puzzles out and then construct an entirely new puzzle out of a uh, mosaic of that of those puzzles. It's I, I use that as an example of, of how difficult it would be for you to try and figure it out. You'd need a Cray computer, and that may not do it for you. Um, I will, I will tell you this much. I have learned in the past 16 years why I was brought to the Masonic Lodge back in the 1980s uh, and had that experience and had access to their uh, libraries and archives and resources. And... And and then uh, left the lodge, abandoned it, t turned my back on it, walked away. Um, if not for what I learned in many facets in my life, uh, and what I was taught as a young lad by my father and grandfather, uh, but th that Masonic experience and and Ladybug, I'm not, uh, <laughs> I'm not signing off here yet. Um, <clears throat> if not from my Masonic experience, I wouldn't have figured this out, or we wouldn't have. I'm, I'm sorry, I apologize. And uh, I, w I will tell you that a normal Mason won't do it. Uh, I've never been a normal anything, whatever that is. And I, I probably have a greater understanding of of uh, of the Masonic Lodge and uh, up through the degrees of of 32 than than most Masons do who have been in it longer than I have. Uh, I got started in it as late age to begin with. Not in my twenties. I have a friend of mine. As soon as he turned twenty-one, uh, his dad uh, 
sponsored him into the lodge immediately. That was that was the thing. First thing he did the next day after his birthday, and I doubt that that uh, he has the understanding of the lodge that I do and the symbolism. That's what I'm talking, to, uh, referring to. Uh, hidden meanings and words and and things that normal people don't see. Um, it's all diff- symbolism. Yeah, a different point of view. It's it's one of the major reasons why I, I see things differently than other people do. Uh, why I, I plagiarize other researchers' uh, uh, research and and find a different slant on it than than they do. Uh, different point of view. Why aren't you a spoken parables? Why not I what? I, I was going to say, that's why Yeshua spoke in parables. Yes. Only a, a select few would understand. The rest would couldn't make any sense out of it. And the majority of the Christians, all the Christians, <laughs> all of the Christians have never been able to figure out the parables. Now, the rotten Roman cult probably, they may, because they have access to all the ancient uh, writings and and, uh, documents and things like that. Uh, But they're not telling the faithful. So... Well, I appreciate your time, David. You appreciate mine. Of course. It's been an awesome journey. You're the schmott guy. Hey, Calhoun, how you What? Good publication in there, good. Can't understand what you're saying. I'm sorry, someone was talking here. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, my apologies, my apologies. Yeah, no, I, no. No, that's uh, fine. Appreciate your time. It's good stuff. Uh, it seems to be all right there. It's all right there. Yeah. It is. <clears throat> right in front of your face, folks. It's so simple. It's ridiculous. So absolutely simple. It's why you can't see it. They put it right in front of your face. And uh, being out in the open like that, you don't notice it. Just not aware of it. We are... We're programmed uh, not to think, not to be conscious thinkers and be aware of uh, our surroundings, you know, things like that. Anyone else have any questions, comments, or criticism? I have a question. Go ahead, dear. Um... I wanted to know, not to change the subject, but would anybody know how to best um, take care of or dispose of a property tax bill that is almost turned into a lien, or not a lien, but a, um, a tax sale? It hasn't quite gotten there, but it probably will get there in the next 30 days. Anybody want to comment on that? You sent me an email about that. I did. I I didn't respond because of the Sabbath. I will be responding. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Thank you. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. Anyone else want to comment on that?
send her to Doug Riddle's website. I've been there. Um, I've heard that his process hasn't been working since December 11th. No one, very few people have gotten their debts discharged. I think I heard of one. I was on a call two nights ago with him, and he said he said that his process hasn't um, been working. He doesn't know what the holdup is or if they're going to get to it or if they're backed up. He doesn't know why. Um, so I, I, I did, I did do other things with him, um, around January 8th and nothing was paid. Like I sent an oil bill and an electric bill and a credit card bill. I sent all different bills, phone bills, um, a bill from the bank. Not one of them got paid. So, back to square one. Thank you. Thank you. I, I've heard gurus. Now, I'm not, I'm not supporting this or advocating it, but I've heard gurus say that sometimes you have to do that three times. You mean the A for V? Or Doug, you mean Doug Riddles three times? Uh, yeah, I think it's the... Um, it's the acceptance for value. Oh. You have to do it three times in a row for it to stick sometimes. Hmm. Hmm, that's a good thought. Hmm. I never thought of that. If at first you don't exceed, su- succeed. Well. If at first you don't succeed. Yes. Try and try again. Okay. I've been doing that for going on 39 years. Wow. My other question was um, accessing the um, legacy death certificate, the death death, uh, claim. I, I don't know anything about that. And Timothy's gone now. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, thank you very much. And uh, yes, dear, you're very welcome. Thank you for your message, and and thank you for coming on the broadcast and and asking your questions. Uh, Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Well, you're very welcome. Thank Almighty Yahweh. He we we serve Him. Yes. How much uh can you tell me how much time you have? Who? Oh, me? You. Yeah. Before the uh before D Day, before they're gonna do the lien. Oh, I don't know. They said they wanted payment immediately, um, or a lien could happen. A year yeah. ago they sent me um in they said that my, my tax sale was scheduled for April. <laughs> Because I had I had had this guy named Denny Harden yeah. send in a um, yeah. 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 Den- promissory note, and it didn't work, and they got mad. They got very angry at the town hall, and so they immediately called in their troops and got the attorneys in on it and sent me a letter saying, the date, the date of your tax sale is on this day, and it was in April. So I've- that's why I don't want to – I don't have too much – time to play with them and I don't think they're going to play. They're not going to play any games with me. They're going to you know, put the screws to me. So I wanted to find something very effective. So, um, Well, they're using the word could. Tax sale could happen. Could. Um, I would suggest that you do whatever you did, if if in fact you believe in it. And, and this is foremost, and I agree with Sam Davis on this point. Whatever it is you're doing, you must believe in it. If you don't believe in it, it won't work. Uh, if, in fact, you believe in it and, and you want to do this, it's uh, uh, just my opinion. I, I don't uh, uh, guarantee anybody anything other than evil people will do evil things. Uh, I would suggest you do it over again. But uh, April is giving, that sounds like enough leeway. 
uh, for us to get involved and be over the initial hump of what we're doing right now. So relax a little bit, but uh, if you believe in what you're doing, then do it over again. See what the result is. Can't hurt anything, right? Yeah, well, I'm not going to be sending in any more promissory notes from Tenny Harden, that's for sure. That 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 system fails. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that That's a failed system, so I have to use a right. different system. One one of the chatters in here is saying, uh, Randy is saying that the A for V process will not work on mortgages. Well, it's not a mortgage. It's pay, house is paid in full. It's just house taxes. Hmm. What nation uh, or what corporate nation are you near that you're dealing with? Uh, corporate state. Oh, Rhode Island. Rhode Island. I thought you were by your accent. <laughs> How are those cotton picking lobsters doing? Pretty good. I don't eat them. I don't like them. <laughs> oh, good. I'll eat yours. <laughs> I like saltwater cockroaches. <laughs> oh, nasty. That's what they are. Oh, just, well, now I know why I don't like them. I just. Yeah. All, all shellfish are saltwater cockroaches. Ugh. Mm-hmm. Don't like them at all. I think I think the first time I ever saw one, it was my my fiance came over to the house and he stuck one in a in a boiling water and just freaked me out. <laughs> I just huh. saw them crawling and I just ooh, <laughs> <laughs> that was it for me. <laughs> Ladybug says hi, Teresa. <clears throat> <laughs> Tell her hello and thank you. You already did. Okay. All yeah. right. Um, we, we'll get over this hump here, and we'll be getting back to you. Okay. <clears throat> okay. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, you're very welcome. Anyone else have any questions, comments, or criticism? Can you hear me speaking? Hello? Oh, I, I sure can. Now i got two of you. We <laughs> can wait if the other lady would like to talk. Whoever wants to be first. Well, I'm calling in from Canada. Ah. Now, uh, I, can, I don't know where... Wanna, where are you located? I'm on uh, the nation Pennsylvania, York oh, County, okay. South Central Pennsylvania. Oh, I have a Just, cousin who lives over there. Ah. Mm-hmm. Now, I I, uh, I don't know if you can help me with what I'm thinking about. I haven't done a A for V yet, acceptance for value. I'm thinking about doing it, but do I just send it to whoever you, I owe the you, money to? You're you're actually in the wrong to, uh, broadcast here. We don't practice commercial procedures here or advocate oh, them. Oh. Well. We we deal in law reality. <laughs> oh, you you deal, you deal in real law. Real law, trust well, law. I I was listening e- to the lady a, talk about Douglas Riddle. Yeah, everything's a trust. Uh, didn't uh, Richard uh, um, um, uh, Ma, Ma, what's his name up there? The Canadian uh, Richard. Uh, oh, Robert Menard. Oh, uh, Robert Menard. Didn't he prove that? It, it's a trust. It's trust law. I don't know. Uh... Sure did. Thank you, Shellback. You're right, Menard. He sure did, ma'am. Proved okay. that everything's trust law. Trust law. Mm-hmm. Explain that to me. Um, scripture is trust law. The highest law. You mean law... like, like a, a child of God, that kind of thing? Well, it, it, it the whole all of scripture is a trust. Yeah. The the Holy Spirit is the name of the trust. That's why. And we're beneficiaries of that trust. That's why if you uh, 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 blasphemy the trust name, you will be stricken from the proceeds or the benefit of the trust. So we shouldn't use the acceptance for value? Uh, I don't advocate that you do that, no. Okay. Uh, Well, what would you you, you you're going to do or... 
Um, now there must be another remedy. There, there has to be a remedy, and it has mm-hmm. to be simple. Mm-hmm. There absolutely must be. We're we're working on some things uh, involving the birth certificate and finishing that trust that was created by that, and uh, uh, we'll be reporting back to that in the future. It may be a month or more. Uh, okay. Down down the road, maybe not that long. I don't. I just can't estimate it right now. Um, if you go back into our archives or our broadcasts, um, two or three, uh, the past two or three broadcasts have dealt with that, and I'll give you a better explanation of what I'd like to do right now. I'd rather not go back all over it again. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I see you had 68 broadcasts, and I can easily go back and listen. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually, uh, you get information from so many places, and see, there is no manual. Trust law trumps all over, all other types of law. It's higher than than maritime or, or contract or commerce or uh, uh, uh Equity law, it it's just trumps everything. Laws of nations, treaties, are the highest law that the world recognizes, but trusts are higher than than treaties and, in fact, are international law. Trusts are laws of nations because treaties are trust law. See? Okay. So everything else that... That we're uh, exposed to, that the that the bar flies, the lion lawyers use, are all inferior forms of rules and codes, rules, regulations, and and their commerce uh, activities, because uh, they're prohibited from functioning in trust law, with the exception of their corporate trusting they do. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and and they can't do that because if if they would do that, then people would catch on to the fact that all the rest of their nonsense is just nonsense, and trust law is the only thing that's important. Mm-hmm. Okay. So um, we shouldn't be using uh, Douglas Riddles and Winston Strout stuff, maybe I, then. I I'm not going to tell you that. I'm I'm just going to tell no, you no, that. No, no, no. I'm just <clears throat> well, you can't make a blanket statement like that. No. Well, no. I, I can tell you that that uh, Winston will tell you himself he doesn't use his own stuff. We we, we use our own stuff. See. That's funny. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Well, yeah. they say you have to do it yourself, and you have to figure it out yourself. And what you were saying to the other lady there about uh, you have to believe what you're doing, I believe that's true. Yes. And I think if you want to be a sovereign, you better mm. act like a sovereign. I will tell you this. Um, I'd go in there to that tax bureau, and uh, no, I'd do this. I would mail them one silver dollar, mm-hmm. a, a solid silver dollar, registered mail, as payment okay. for those taxes. Yeah. Okay. And on the letter, you refer to that. Uh, registered mail number as the registry record because uh, the registered mail system internally to the post office department and i am spent a lot of time learning this okay many many years uh, they refer to it as the registry system of the post office it's the most critical activity that they perform they devote more uh, management uh, attention and man hours and, and resources to protecting the integrity of that uh, registered mail registry system. They need to do anything else. And you reference that uh, uh, registered mail number. In your letter, you type everything out in lower case, and you sign it with your first and, and middle name. And really? then, yes. Now you're conducting yourself on the land as a sovereign woman in your office of woman. And I would suggest you go back and listen to my broadcast concerning the office of man to understand that. And it's paid. 
It's just paid. Uh, the, the, it's it's a one ounce of silver bullion. It's real substance. It's real money. It's not their fiat currency. And you've paid the bill. Also, uh, what we've discovered is that, <clears throat> and I imagine Canada is the same way, uh, if if I look at a Walmart receipt or a giant uh, grocery store receipt, they list all the items as 3.18, uh, 7.99, 7.32, 1 1.39, and they have con uh, programmed us to believe that these are dollars, and in fact they're not dollars. As uh, Lloyd from Nebraska, Lloyd was on here earlier tonight, I don't know if he still is or not. Uh, no, I don't see him. Uh, oh, yes, he is. Lloyd's still there in the chat room. Uh, as Lloyd uh, pointed out and talked to us a few weeks ago, and I discussed that on a broadcast uh, within the last three weeks, these are actually... Uh, 3.18 cents, 7.99 cents, 7.32 cents. There's no dollar symbol there, <laughs> see? Uh, so there are no dollars on here. It, nowhere on here is there a dollar symbol, and it doesn't say dollars. If you take a U.S. currency and look at it, there's no dollar sign. There's It's spelled out, dollar, one dollar. Five dollars. It's written out. Uh, if I look at a Walmart receipt, it's uh, the, the uh, it, it it's the same way. Eh, where is one rascal? Should have They're real wallet. sneaky, you know. Yeah. Uh, they, yes, they really they do hide it in plain sight. Yeah. But if you type in dollar sign in uh, Google, S I G N. And you look at that, that's that S with one slash through it. But that's not the dollar. That's a Mexican dollar sign. It tells you right there in Google that it is. It's a peso. So here about, uh, uh, what is it, folks, two, three weeks ago, um, I had, uh, I'm had. i still trying to recover from my uh, three-month abduction by the FBI and catch up with my bills and uh, I've been behind on my Comcast uh, 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 service, uh, which I have uh, broadband access, cable, uh, Internet, and also digital voice uh, telephone. And they threatened to disconnect uh, my service. So I took a $100 bill in there, and I gave it to the cashier. And she accepted that, and she uh, gave me a receipt that acknowledged I paid $100, okay? But mm -hmm. it's a dollar sign that's a peso. And oh. on her invoice, it's a dollar sign as the peso. So that I knew that that wouldn't satisfy them, and I was going to get a call warning me they were going to terminate my service. Sure enough, two weeks later, or no, a week later, they did. So I went back in there in front of all the customers standing in line. I went up to this cashier, and I had this receipt and my invoice here where I paid it, and I asked to speak with the manager, the supervisor. And she came out, and uh, she's kind of standing over to the side, to the, to the right of this uh, girl that was sitting there on the stool uh, waiting on me. And she said, can I help you? I said, yes, I believe you can. I said, I want to know what the problem is here. I said, Comcast sent me this invoice for uh, 279 pesos, and I gave your cashier a $100 bill, paying that, bill, that invoice plus paying the account in advance for over a year, and your, and your uh, uh, cashier did not convert that currency into pesos and give me credit. All she did was give me credit for 100 pesos, when in fact that was over 1,000 pesos. What in the hell are you doing? You know what she did? She ran over to that terminal, pushed that girl out of the way. <laughs> they, oh, they, had ter they had terminated my service that morning. I'll bet. About 2 o'clock in the morning. 
she pushed that girl out of the way, almost pushed her off the stool, and 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 banged, uh, typed into that uh, keyboard on that terminal. She says, "Your your brought your internet service is reconnected, and your telephone service will be back online within two hours, sir." <laughs> you know what I've heard from them ever since? Nothing. I'll bet. I I have you, not you won't gotten. Either. I had, no, I have not gotten a normal invoice. It, I was at the post office uh, yesterday. It should have been there. It wasn't there waiting for me. And uh, I've been having that. some. I've been having some service issues with uh, my call waiting not working and and phone calls ringing through, and I've had service. I've uh, I had. Uh, 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 a serviceman out here working on the line and re- replaced uh, the ends on the cable service out, uh, connections out here that were uh, corroded, and uh, they worked on their their side. They called the switch on their side of the switch in there, and uh, uh, we thought they had cleared that those difficulties. And now I'm starting to experience them again. And I called in another service last night to give me a new uh, 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 number, uh, 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 service number, and they're working on it again. And I noticed uh, two, three times today I was cut off on the phone because they're working on their side and it interrupted my phone service. So I'm getting uh, I'm getting uh, technical service. <laughs> I'm not disconnected, and they're not sending me any more invoices. And I told you folks about this two or three weeks ago. It's all in pesos. You can take all of your receipts back to Wally World, Walmart, and the grocery store, and uh, Boscoff's, and everybody else, uh, the gas station, or whatever uh, that you've uh, been dealing with. I, I don't care how many years it goes back. You ought to be able to go back at least three, if not seven, and ask them what the cotton-picking problem is, that you've been giving them U.S. dollars, and they've been treating them as, as pesos, and they're not converting the currency. That's fraud. That's a securities violation. It's a currency violation. That's a treasury violation. See? That woman knew that she knew something that the cashier She knew more. Not, yes, she knew something. Yeah. And she did not want the rest of those customers stand there, about nine of them in line, waiting to, to be waited on to hear that. I turned around and looked. They're all looking at me and looking down at their bills. <laughs> but I know that every one of them went up, went up to the cashiers and, and just gave them dollars or gave them a check and this and that and didn't do it, didn't argue it. Now, that's Sorry. just simply because they're using the dollar sign. Yeah, well, it's not a dollar sign. A dollar sign is two slashes. In yeah. fact, the, the original dollar sign is Lloyd from Nebraska, who's listening here, uh, gave me this knowledge. I, I get, I, I plagiarize everything I know from everybody. The original dollar sign was an S uh, with a, no, uh, a Yes, an S with a U over superimposed all over top of it, where two uh, lines stuck out at the top, but the bottom of the S conformed with the bo- or the bottom of the U conformed with the S, and therefore was hidden. It didn't protrude down below that, and that was United States silver. That's what that represented. See, it still represents that. Now on your keyboard. Or your uh, newer typewriters, there, there, there's uh, an S with one slash there. But if you go into your word processing program and you click on Insert Symbol and you go down through the symbols, you're going to find a dollar sign with two slashes that you can put there on that document. That's the only way you can do it or get an antique typewriter that has the old S with two slashes. That's well, the know. dollar... U.S. dollar sign. I've got they, a new Dell here, and it's got one line through the the dollar yeah, sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that Can, Canada is the one? same way. Yeah, Canada yeah. is the same way. So that's see, the they they, 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 are, they already converted us over to pesos back in 1917 when they started this. It tells you right on Wikipedia when they did it. Everybody's worried about the Amero coming in. <laughs> We've been using the pesos since before I was born. And nobody See? knows. Nobody mm-hmm. knows. Yeah. Good well, grief. that that 
That supervisor at Comcast knew. I'll bet you I never get another invoice from Comcast ever again. <laughs> I think that's I, rich. <laughs> my account's been shift, shifted over to some kind of VIP service. No invoices. I got to look this all up now. That's new information to me. Yeah. Well, now, th- that lady with the, with the uh, with the tax issues, uh, Teresa, that was speaking earlier. I'm I'm sorry I didn't think about oh. this, and thank you, ma'am, for reminding me of this. Uh, I'm working with one uh, dumb Dutchman brain cell here. Uh, Teresa, the tax bureau is doing the same thing to you. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're billing you, invoicing you in pesos, and the previous bills that you paid. In U.S. dollars, if you wrote a check or you paid them in currency, that uh, the check is written out dollars. See, you write that out on the line. Mm-hmm. See, and the dollar sign is outside the box. Mm-hmm. You put the amount in inside the box in in uh, uh, num- numerals. Yep. They you you go to them and and raise all whole all. Uh, uh, whole, uh, un- unholy hell with them that they're not yeah that they're not converting the currency and you already paid those taxes ahead for the next hundred years mm-hmm. and and see what they do with that rather than paying with a silver dollar that would be interesting well, thank you for your conversation or even put that in the form of a letter and send that to them, registered mail, and notify them that you're going to uh, file a, a com- complaint with the uh, uh, with the Treasury with a, a currency violation. Mm. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. uh, David. Yes, ma'am. Hi, David. Uh, I'm, so- I'm sorry. Uh, is this lady finished from Canada, ma'am? From Canada. Did you have anything else? Okay. She seems to have been finished. Go ahead, dear. Uh, hi, David. This is Emilia from Cincinnati. <laughs> yes, you are. And we're going to have dinner this week, dear. Absolutely, yes. Uh, what I'm saying is that I'm pretty much sympathized with this lady. You know, I'm in the same boat as she is. And um, and this uh, essay on the Paso, <laughs> that's outstanding. Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. outstanding. I um, I read I read about that long time ago, but uh, would not put in a, such a picturesque <laughs> mm-hmm. form. Very nice. Well, mm-hmm. anyway, thank you very much. It was a pleasure. You're very welcome, dear. Okay. We we'll see you soon. Oh, uh, you will. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm bu- I'm buying dinner. Uh, fine. <laughs> Great. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bye. You're welcome. We're going to wine you and dine you, Amelia. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, by the blessings of Almighty Yahweh. Absolutely. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So anyone else had any questions, comments, criticism? Yeah, David. Oh, wait a minute. You might be walking over the, uh, some lady, a uh, ma'am. Did you have uh, another question? <clears throat> well, it's, it's, it's me again about the taxes, and I just wanted to tell you very quickly that I paid them for years by um, using post office postal money orders. Oh, and you gave U.S. dollars for them. That's, <laughs> that's right, a, and I have all the copies of them, too. That's, <laughs> m- that's mail fraud and postal money order fraud, too. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Uh, you t- you t- you send them a certified letter, and you can put it in all capital letters if you want to. You don't have to do this in lowercase. You tell them they better convert these payments you've already made by U.S. Postal money orders. You're going to not only report them to the Treasury for Treasury for currency violations, you're going to c- file a complaint with the postal inspector. <laughs> yes, see, if, they- see what that does. And the bill does have a um, a dollar bill with with a single strike through it. It does. Yeah, yeah. It's a dollar. It's the peso symbol. Peso. Go on on Wikipedia and look at that yourself. It's it's right there. 
there's just <laughs> you can print it out, print the Wikipedia uh, explanation out and include it with them with it. But the lawyers and and the accountants will understand what you're doing. You won't you won't hear any more from them for bills. They won't tax you again. Uh-huh. Mark, I'll tell you what. I'll make you this personal guarantee. You you do that and you copy that to me. And if you've done it right, and you cite uh, currency violations, uh, treasury uh, violation of United States treasury laws, and postal. Uh, fraud violations involving using the mails and postal money order fraud, uh, and they don't. Uh, you get a tax bill, I'll pay it until you draw your last breath. I will pay your taxes for you. Wow. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Wow. You have my my personal guarantee and my word of honor that that will be done, and I've well, got I a whole bunch of witnesses here. I will send you <coughs> that email, that's for sure, and I thank you so much. And oh, um, you could edit it for me, and I'm very grateful, okay? Thanks. Thank you so much. All right, dear. Bye-bye. Well, I'm, I'll still be on the call. I, okay. I'm not going to hog up the time, though, for anybody else. Okay. okay thanks. Uh, yes, Doyle, that should work with anything. Uh, the, the guest 39, uh, go on to our Google group and look in the files. Uh, uh, and we're going to do some intense research on that original dollar sign, and we'll be reporting that then. Young man, I, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yeah, you bet. Ladies first. That's <clears> right. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to make one little uh, clarification mm-hmm. on the on the tax notice here in Nebraska. Hey, Lloyd. There is <laughs> this is Lloyd, folks. This is the peso man. <laughs> there is no peso sign. There is no sign. The only thing I have is a statement at the bottom of the levy column that says that that is cents per $100, but they're using it as if it were dollars. Yeah. <clears throat> it's 99 Point uh, eight one cents, not dollars. Right. And they're actually uh, Mexican cents because well, they do Mexican. they do use the dollar. Uh, well, no, you probably can't say that. Uh, uh, yeah, it's probably just pennies. Uh, that's all it is. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, I'll gladly pay them in pennies. Oh sure. Yeah. Why not? Hey, 889 uh, pennies is better than 889 Federal Reserve notes. That's for sure. Yeah, and I I defy their lawyers to prove that that's wrong. (laughs) I had an interesting experience yesterday, I guess it was. Mm -hmm. I went into a bank to um, uh, talk about opening an account and... uh, uh, made the comment that I was told that uh, I need to study the private side of banking, and I didn't realize there was as much to it as there is. And she kind of um, said, oh, yeah, we get into all that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> she admitted so, that? Uh, <clears throat> it, it, it's nothing new. <laughs> yeah. Okay, folks, here's, those... the, sh- here's the schmott guy from Nebraska. <laughs> Ask him your questions. <laughs> uh, come on, now, make them easy. <laughs> hey, you're going to be coming. Da- you're going to be coming down to to Colorado and visit with us soon. Oh yeah, a few weeks maybe. I I may. Uh, <clears throat> I got. I, I've been trying to help a young younger fellow that uh, uh, had a kind of a rough upbringing, and now he's turned against me. And so uh, I may have to talk to you about that tomorrow. Okay. I, you know, I mentioned that I needed to know more about county notary, and I guess I spoke correctly. Hmm. As bad as I hate to say it. We'll get together tomorrow. So, okay. Yeah. Good to hear from you. Yep. Yeah. Quit uh, sending it. Uh, keep that snow out there, will you? Quit sending it east. No, you just you just 
you just get that big snow blower that your your brother showed me and <laughs> put it to work. I'm going to roll up a Dutchman snowball, and as soon as the wind's blowing west, I'm going to send it out there at you. <laughs> I'm glad I'm I'm upwind from you <laughs> in general. <laughs> okay. Catch you later. All right. Thanks, Lloyd. You bet. Bye. My, my friend Lloyd, folks from Nebraska. Our friend Lloyd. Your friend Lloyd. <laughs> uh, anyone else? Questions, comments, or criticism? Going once. Uh, guest 50, I have a meeting in Colorado coming up. Yeah, I believe I do. Uh, we'll let you know more about that later. Hello? Yes, dear. Hi, how do I get on the board? Uh, in the chat room? Yes. Uh, you log into www.talkshoe.com. Yep. And, and then you put this call ID in, 15212. That's my, uh, our broadcast is a voice of freedom. And then you'll have access to all of our archives there. You can download them. Go down to the bottom to the comments that people leave. And I put uh, ex- uh, uh, an explanation of how to download uh, the broadcasts. I see. Okay. Talkshoe.com. Uh Broadcast ID one five two one two. A voice, or you could type a, a voice of freedom in there, or uh, David Clarence, uh, and it'll bring up my uh, host page for you. How about at the top? There's a search box there. Can I just put one five two one two in there? That's the one you do it to. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Please. Uh, could you take in Mexican pesos and pay? Uh, and, and they try to refuse them. Uh, Doyle, I don't know. Uh, I thought about getting some pesos from the bank, uh, but uh, what the heck? I'm use one a one hundred dollar uh, Federal Reserve note <laughs> and never get an invoice from them again. You know, that should work on anything. Car payments, mortgage payments, taxes, <laughs> utilities. Where can you get a solid silver? Guess 68 on a nation, Washington or Georgia. You mean a silver dollar at a coin dealer? The pre-2023, I think it is, or have more silver content than the newer ones. It, it doesn't make that much difference. They're still minting them. Uh, 2000, I think they're 2009, might be 2010 silver uh, bullion coins now. They're larger uh, because they have less of uh, a purity of silver in them. But however they do that, it has to equal one troy ounce which is more than a uh, a standard American ounce weight-wise uh, in grams uh, in s- silver content, uh, plus the uh, other metals they put in there so that wears, you get more wear out of it, uh, use out of it doesn't wear out so easily. $100, uh, David, is 5,000 pesos in the Philippines. I'll bet it is. It's about 10 to 1, right? 47 to 1. 27 to 1? Oh. 47. 47 to 1? Yeah. Down from 56. Ah. I, I must have paid that Comcast bill uh, into oblivion. Capricious, uh, oh God, they got me to do it, Cappy. <laughs> Capri. Uh, he says it's 12.85 to 1. That's what I thought it was, around 10 or, or a little bit more. 
Is that the Mexican peso? Yeah, that's what he's saying. That's what I thought. I went on a currency converting uh, web page. I'm just taking uh, for granted that that was accurate. I typed in U.S. Uh, 100 U.S. dollars and it converted it to pesos for me, and it was into the thousands. <laughs> yeah. I noticed. Uh, what did I check today? Gold and silver. Um, they've actually been rising, rising. No, they're going. They're falling. Gold and silver went down. Palladium and uh, platinum are, are up. Gold and silver is down. When uh, gold and silver rate goes down, uh, the cost of uh, consumers, cost of consumer, uh, consumers of products and services decrease. It's a good thing. Gas will, gas should go down accordingly. Good luck <laughs> on that one. Yeah, Randy says uh, gold about one. I think it was 1100 yesterday I looked at it and uh, Silver two hundred, no sixteen dollars. Sixteen Federal Reserve notes. I I think uh, sixteen eighty one or something like that yesterday. And gold was uh, over eleven hundred, eleven forty eight, something like that. And. Uh, I was trying to figure out how much a cotton picking uh, bar of gold weighed. <laughs> uh, I actually have that on Wikipedia. And uh, different types of, of uh, uh, gold bullion bars and what they mean, things like that. They're around, uh, what was it, Anthony, about 40 pounds, something like that. Are you still in here? Oh, yeah, you're here. Enrique, yeah, I see your... How, how 25. much? 20, oh, 25. Oh, that's right, 25 pounds. Uh, Enrique, you're asking, if I do not register land lawfully bought with the silver coins, if I do not, how do I remove it from being tax registered? Uh, you're... Your defect is when you buy real estate, you pay the tax ahead for the for the next year, into the ne into the next year, the first quarter, I think it is something like that, and that's how they pull you into that taxing scheme. That since you paid it in advance once, <laughs> you must intend to pay it, and they always bill you for the tax uh, in advance. Is that right, Anthony? Real estate tax, is that in school taxes? They bill you for that in advance? No, you're billed behind. By, behind, that's right. Okay, we they bill you behind, uh, but when you first purchase it, you pay in advance. Yeah. Uh, Doyle Smith is saying uh, 44 pounds, guess 12 is 40. Uh, I don't believe so. What we found on the internet, it's uh, 25 pounds, something like that, for 400 troy ounces is one uh, uh, bar of gold, and uh, how much was that, a bar, what was that worth, I forget now, yeah, and Federal Reserve notes. Yeah, silver's looking like it's going down. Spots uh, sixteen dollars and thirty cents. Capri's saying, and ingot weighs forty-four pounds. No, no, it weighs four hundred ounces. Uh, but those were tro did we do that cr conversion correctly to to troy ounces? 
I, I think we were fi- figuring that on uh, uh, U.S. ounces, SAE, when we did that calculation. Maybe we should do that over again. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you in uh, about a month why we're interested in that. Uh, everything works out as planned. You'll get a kick out of it, I'm sure. It'd be a, good, a great war, great war story, <laughs> right, Anthony? Does anyone else have any questions, comments, or criticism? And whoever is making background noise, could you please uh, star six and mute yourself out? Thank you. Appreciate that. Hey, how you doing? You still want me to uh, do that deal with Vermont? Oh, are are you the one with the uh, notice of uh, birth registration? Yes. Ah, I was I was hoping you were going to email me this past week. Uh, the, uh, you I can. Y- yes, I, I would did. appreciate. Oh, you did. Yeah, I did. I okay. sent you a picture of it. No, I didn't get it. You sent it to County Notary at Gmail dot com. Yes, sir. No, didn't get it. I'll do it again. Okay. Um. What I, we were, t- what I'm told from uh, the Bureau of Census, uh, Philadelphia uh, lady, uh, emailed me and told me that they discontinued issuing those notices of birth registration in the 1940s. She didn't say when in the 40s. Um, they told me I was born in 1948, so towards the end of the 40s, I. Uh, I don't have any knowledge of such a thing. I never saw it in any uh, uh, records that mom mom kept or anything for myself or my brother or sister. Um, so uh, I, I don't know at this point, uh, but but this is what they're saying. <clears throat> uh, what she said in, in the, uh, the web link that she sent me, a PDF file to, uh, is uh, from the Bureau, Department of Commerce Bureau of Census, uh, stating that they discontinued that uh, in the 19th, dis- discontinued issuing notices of birth registration in the 1940s. Does that mean that they're not registering the births? I'm not confident that that's what that means. Uh, I believe it means exactly what it says. They're not sending you the notices, but they're still doing it. They're just not notifying anyone. Uh, that's one of the things that we'll be looking into in great uh, detail uh, with much interest uh, in the coming weeks. And we'll report back to you on uh, what we can uh, dig up on that. Uh, I, I really believe that that's an uh, integral part of... Uh, uh, being <clears throat> ending up with uh, at least the status that I seem to be enjoying uh, from what uh, uh, Yahweh the Almighty has shown us uh, how to do, or it may be <clears throat> an even higher status. I'm not sure. I, uh, it, the old the old Dutchman uh, sense is telling me that that's uh, something very worthwhile to pursue. And completing that trust and having the, that that uh, record or document, uh, if uh, if the Bureau of uh, Census is still doing that, not issuing the notices, getting copies of them from them will be like pulling teeth. But uh, tell you what, we'll just uh, go ahead and file, uh, hire, engage, uh, uh, retain. Uh, a Cracker Jack law firm and sick it on them. As much as I don't care for lion lawyers and bar flies, uh, I actually have a, 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 a very competent attorney friend of mine going back um, 20, 25 years or so that's uh, one of them Philadelphia lawyers has his own law firm over there. 
uh, pretty good man, uh, straight shooter as much as a lawyer could be, and I, uh, I may contact him, sick him on him. And uh, let him do a freedom of information request or file a civil rights action or something like that. Um, mandamus or something. Uh, MOTLA68, uh, I'm not suggesting such a thing. You're misconstruing what I'm saying. When I say status, it has to do with how the world looks at that name. Or uh, because it can't see us on the public side in our capacities as uh, occupying the office of man or womb man and living spirits. Uh, and what the world does or doesn't do or how it regards us doesn't mean diddly squat. It's how our Creator regards us. Uh, so I believe you misunderstood me. So yeah, I suggest you go back and listen to our explanation of uh, the office of man in the archives. <clears throat> but uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Randy asking me if I want to, uh, thoughts on the man flying into the IRS building. Well, that man knows all of it, the information now. He knows all the truth. Knows everything about everything. His problem is he's burning in hell. Uh, that solved nothing. And, uh, all the opportunities of, uh, the next day and the following day and, uh, this week and this coming week that he could have had to uh, rectify his uh, concerns uh, are now taken from him. He uh, surrendered those opportunities for an eternity in hell according to the law. So uh, that's about all I have to say about that. And had he stuck around long enough to to possibly learn better, uh, he may find out that the IRS is actually one of your best friends uh, and not the enemy that we are all uh, programmed to believe they are. You know, it's just like these uh, fractional cents on these register receipts and uh, these peso do uh, signs uh, being uh, represented as... Uh, well, not represented as dollars, signs. Uh, it's just we're programmed uh, through the public fool system that that's a dollar symbol. Yeah. So, anyone else have any questions, comments, criticism? Going once. What I miss, David. <laughs> Uh, all the good stuff. Uh, lady, lady called in about her taxes on her home that they're threatening to uh, sell her home. Uh, uh, I, I at first I suggested you send them a silver dollar registered mail, and then another lady came in from Canada, and uh, uh, we got to talking about the peso sign, and bingo, light went on. <laughs> And uh, I explained to Teresa, the lady that called in uh, uh, from Rhode Island about her tax issues, that she had already paid all those taxes. <laughs> and she's been paying in U.S. postal money orders. <laughs> they haven't been converting them. <laughs> They're billing her in pesos. <laughs> and they got a serious problem with the uh, U.S. Treasury for currency fraud for not doing the conversion and the U.S. Postal Inspectors with uh, mail fraud and using uh, postal money orders in a fraudulent scheme. And that's what I suggested she write to them and send it certified mail. What do you think? That sounds like a good plan. 
Yeah, I haven't heard I haven't heard nothing but from Comcast except calling me about how they can help me with my technical problems. <laughs> Whoa! No invoices. I should have had one. There, there should absolutely have been there one there a week ago, and, and they were threatening me with disconnect. You know, termination of ser- they had terminated the service. Actually, remember? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they cut me off at two o'clock uh, Monday morning, and. <laughs> Went in there and they got to meet the Marine. It's been back on ever since. We're going to have to research that more thoroughly, David. That's, uh, man. Yeah, evidently that supervisor knows something that the cashiers don't, and she didn't want the cashiers or the customers there hearing what I had to say. She just wanted me out of there. (laughs) That is a peso symbol. Yep. Piece of eight. Yeah. Just that right there is uh, blow the barn door right off. Yeah. Uh, here's Teresa emailing me now. Sorry, folks. I'm a little uh, slow getting back to your messages. Been a little busy. Uh, it's going to get a lot busier this week for a while until things uh, settle down. So you have to be a little patient. I don't think things will slow down, David. <laughs> they are. They are for me. Are they? Yeah, I'm going to pal everything on Anthony's back. <laughs> 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 He's going to start doing the broadcast. Did you know? No, I did not. Yeah, he volunteered. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. What's taking so long? <laughs> he suggested that you do them. I said, no. All he wants to talk about is commerce junk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, commerce junk. <laughs> now, come on now. Are, are, how, what have we been using? Trust law? Masonic uh, secrets? <laughs> we've, been using, we've been using all of the above. <laughs> yeah. All of the above. But all yeah, of the ab- uh, trust law is the backbone of the whole thing. Yeah. Yep. Boy, your longtime uh, uh, honey bunny uh, 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 girlfriend's not getting much work out of you tonight. You're you're on break every five minutes. Yeah, I that's, just. That's a great union you belong to. She uh, she's a good woman. Yeah. Tank, are you still in here? Tanker Bell. You're not in here. You better be packing. <laughs> Lloyd says uh they're they're in violation of the equal weights and measures laws. Ah that's a good that they yeah, are. They are, Lloyd. There you go, that's a good yep. place to start. Yep. That's a big one, <laughs> you know. Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, they got inspectors go around and they check all the scales. Uh, they pump a gallon of gas out of a pump, and it better equal their gallon <laughs> and weight and volume. And they go around to the supermarkets, uh, butcher shops, and uh, all the stands at the farmers markets, and they test all the scales every year, and they put a new seal on there, inspected. And uh, you better not get caught tampering with that device after it has an inspection seal on there. You're going to the penitentiary for that one. They they don't fool around with that. that that's good, Lloyd. See? More nuggets from Nebraska. I told you he was a smart, smart guy. That's what we need. We need researchers. Yep. 
there's not a one of us can do it all. There needs to be a collective uh, collective research team. Proverbs 20, divers, weights, and measures. And Abom- Abom- yeah. And Leviticus, yeah. An abomination to the Lord. Which one, 68? Which Lord? What's important of the... And the importance of the red fox stamp in this seventy nine is asking. Uh, asset, asset money. Asset money. Asset money all the way. All the way. Unit of silver. Yeah. A piece of eight. That yeah. that is a piece of eight. Asset money is uh silver. Based on silver. The post office department remains operating in silver, based in silver. The banks don't, but the post office does. And yes, they accept Federal Reserve notes. (laughs) I understand that. They do the conversion. Yeah. They do the conversion in-house. That reminds me. I have to look at a cotton-picking post office receipt. I know I have one here. Um, well, I'd, no, like, maybe, to, maybe I'd like to share, if I could, David, that the story will, will real quick. No, you can't interrupt me. I'm talking about important stuff. <laughs> All right, I'm going to say say it anyway. Go ahead, my friend. I'll be chastised later. (laughs) Uh, My grandfather used to always say two bits. I'll give you two bits for it. And I used to uh, ask him, I'd look at him, this incredulous look, and I'd say, two, what are you talking about, two bits? And I'd say, well, how much is two bits? He'd say, 25 cents. I'd say, 25 cents? Two bits, and he'd, he'd shake his head, yeah. But he, he would never explain it any more than that. Well, go on Wikipedia and look up the peso symbol, and it's going to talk about pieces of eight. Um, a unit of silver, which is the U.S., uh, which is, in fact, the two vertical lines through the S on, a, on currency, if you will. Um, a unit of silver is also known as a bit. So when you break down uh, something into eight, you get 0.125, which equals a bit. So if you have two bits, uh, you're going to have 0.125 times two, which is going to equal 0.25, which, as we all know, is a quarter. That's exactly where that comes from. And that goes right back to pieces of eight, units of silver. That's all you wanted to interrupt me with? That's it, my friend. Hmm. 68. Um, You need to use some common sense. Uh, When the Lord is mentioned, it means the the one most high. (laughs) Are you suggesting that the Lord God, Yeshua, the the only begotten Son, is higher than the office of Almighty Yahweh? God? God? been spending too much time in this Christian uh, 501c3 uh, um, tabernacles of Satan. And I don't mean to offend your belief system. Go back and listen to my archives. Okay, 68, God is too much of a unilateral term, and you type it, capital G, capital O, capital D. Uh, uh, You need to work on your uh, belief system, your your discernment. You've been programmed like we all have. You've been programmed by the rotten Roman cult. Uh, government system called Christianity. 
I didn't say that God... Oh, okay. All right, Capri. Anyway, I don't want to get into our, your religious arguments. Go back and li Please go back and listen to my archives. Over that. What else, Timothy? 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 Well, the battery, low battery indicator is beeping on the phone, so I don't have too much left here on this device. But um, just keep plugging away. Yeah. We will. Got one heck of a week in store. One day in a wake up. One day in a wake up. It's almost a wake up. Almost a wake up. Almost a wake up. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know who shot Kennedy. Think, think we can find that out. Suicide. I don't really care. Yeah. He was in the world. Uh, he tried to get the silver certificates out. He wasn't operating uh, as president any more than uh, Obama is. None of them did. It's all been a scam. He's, uh, he wanted to use the real stuff, though. He did get that out. Yeah, he tried, but that was a personal vendetta against the the bankers. I, I I'd like to believe he had the the little people's uh, best interests in heart. Uh, he was a, a memorable and honorable uh, naval officer, and uh, and uh, risked his own life to save his crew and and everything. I don't want to take any any of that away. Uh, I believe we would all be better off if he'd been able to serve two terms and get reelected four years later <laughs> to another eight, and Bobby in there too. But uh, wasn't uh, Yeshua's will? That's right. That is correct. He always will. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, the marshals surrendered my uh, mobility device. It stolen back on August seventh. Uh, Anthony, what did the marshal ask you when you went to pick that up? They said this is one hell of a liability. We're glad to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, they should have read uh, the release I Anthony gave them from me about liability. Uh, 68's asking me what did I use to pay for that mobile, to mobile device, U.S. Postal money order. Yeah, power chair, electric. Where can one obtain silver dollars? Any coin dealer. Probably pawn shops. I'd recommend you check online and get an idea of what the uh, coin rate should be for various uh, coin conditions. And don't buy proofs. If they're low worn, don't worry about it. The reason well, vampires don't like silver. Yeah. They're werewolves. Werewolves. Yeah. Werewolves. There's a reason for that. Behold, I send you out as sheep amongst the wolves. Yeah. With my silver in your pocket. Anthony, Earth to Anthony.
I know you already re- told this once tonight. That, that was before the bro- uh, recording was started. You must be playing the drums. Nah. Uh, fell asleep again. He's getting up there in years, you know. Anyone else have any questions, comments, or criticism? Going once. Uh, House of Coer. I don't advocate barfly techniques or interacting with that uh, bogus court system. So I can't answer your question about notice of appearance. I suggest you conduct yourself in your <clears throat> de jure office of man on the land, and they can't see you there in that capacity. Dead air, folks. Nobody's talking. Death knell to a broadcast. Dead air. Questions, comments, or criticism? Going twice. Hi, I have another question. Go ahead, dear. Um, I still can't find the board, and I'm, I was too embarrassed to tell you that I still couldn't find the board, um, you know, to, to write in. And uh, I I typed in the um, oh, 15212. Uh, you see where it says live now? You, you saw you said there was a search window. You were on talk yes. show. Yep. Okay. It says live now. Click on that and scroll down that list of broadcasters that are, that are uh, live, and you'll see... Uh, a Voice of Freedom, and then click on that. That will take you to my host page. And don't be embarrassed. We all start uh, at square one with uh, computers. Um, Now I see a list of past episodes. Uh, Okay, at the top it should say, uh, uh, Start My Call. Or uh, not, uh, so it should, should say live now. Yeah. Oh, okay. That may or may not work for you, depending on whether you've installed the TalkShoe software. But go ahead and try it. It may work. Like join now? Or yes, yes. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. If you have... Uh, uh, bu- 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 uh, F- Adobe uh, Flash installed. It'll work for you. Okay, I see it now. Thank you. I see. Um... Adobe uh, Flash installed. It'll work for hey, you. Hey, now I'm echoing back. Now. Thank you. I see. Um... Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot. Mute your uh, computer speakers, dear. Thank you. You're welcome. Never be embarrassed about uh, asking questions about things. I do it day in and day out searching for answers. I have to do it multiple times for the same subject before I get it. Oh, I see my host window is not updating itself again. Thank you very much. 
Microsoft. <laughs> Tony, <laughs> your driveway is going to be full of uh, computers this week. Pieces of computers. Sorry if I missed some of the things you were typing in, folks. Another miracle of Microsoft. That's right, Harkin. The the post office department exists at the main post office, not at the branches, satellites. And uh, you can't go by what the Postal Service personnel are are telling you or they believe because they're just going by what the uh, uh, post office uh, regulations say. Postal Service regulations and remember that's a private corporation uh, chartered in 1971 <clears throat> to serve the functions of the post office departments nope uh, guest 50 the postmaster wears two hats, Postmaster of the Post Office Department and Postmaster of the Postal Service. Since they are using that postal registry system, that's proof that the Post Office Department is functioning there. That's by treaty law. Go uh, read up on the Postal Union. And we'll be posting, scanning and posting some old uh, antiquian uh, postmaster manuals and things. And you'll see where those treaties are and they're still in force. Harkin. General Post is not delivery. Go listen to my broadcasts. That's general delivery. It's not general post office. Any other questions, comments, or criticisms? Timothy, jump in there. Well, I don't have too much more to say, David. Oh, come on. <laughs> How many hours do we spend on the phone every day? <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> I'm glad we're not using the old bell system. This windfall would be gone. We have to use the paper cups. Yeah. Use bread and Bruce's tin cans and string. Or Bruce's tin cans and string. Uh, Randy, what's next for us in the court docs? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we got to get through what we're working on now and get over this hump. And I got to sit down and and take s stock and uh, uh, what to do with the notary office, federal circuit, different things. And uh, oh, are you referring to the uh, court dockets? Um, I, I don't like those records being there, uh, even though they've been sanitized. Uh, Timothy believes that once uh, uh, Monday they'll disappear. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, Hi, David. Timothy. It's Randy. May Hi, I dear. speak for a second? Oh, you sure can. Let me finish my thought. Uh, Timothy's gone. He's probably his battery died. Now we can talk about him. Um, 
we'll have, I'm sure, a lot to report next week. And uh, I already have a <clears throat> subject for that broadcast, and it's going to be about Tony King <laughs> and uh, who he really is and what he's doing, the scam he's running. And I won't go into it any more than that. Save the rest for the next week. Go ahead, dear. Thank you. Okay, great. Um, the question I did want to ask about the court docs is what, you know, you just want to get them erased. So when they become, uh, if I'm correct, a legacy, what happens with them at that point that they become a legacy docket? Well, they That's, shift their, the, the financial side of the court, which is the clerk's, registry investment system the clerk of the courts have wear two hats when you go in there and ask for the normal clerk that the barfly accesses that's just to uh interact in in barfly lion lawyer uh uh procedures and rules and things like that but that clerk is wearing another hat and that's the financial side of the court in private it's the court registry investment system. That's what those legacy dockets were uh, put there by, not the clerk of the court where you normally file paperwork. It's the other side of the court that, that uh, sanitized those dockets and uh, assigned uh, those co- uh, leg- legacy docket numbers. <clears throat> what we... We can only surmise, like I just said, uh, we believe they'll disappear after Monday and they'll be gone because they've all been shifted. All the bonding, trading, and everything's been shifted over to the uh, to the the whole thing's been put on the private side now. It's it's not in the public domain anymore, even though it shows up on the web as uh, sanitized dockets and legacy docket numbers. Uh, so the the we believe the whole record would disappear. If it doesn't, I'm going to be doing something about that, talking to somebody about it. Somewhere. Okay. Now that the bonds have moved over, I guess, out of the public into the private, uh, and again, I'm a I'm beginner and proud of it, but uh, so now that they've moved over from the public to the private, does that mean that they – you have that ability to be able to expunge or sanitize because from what I'm now understanding, the courts are making money off of us through all these bonds that are on the public side, correct? Well, <clears throat> that's what's been uh, promoted by uh, these commerce people for many years. And I, up until maybe a year ago, I, I th- this commerce... Uh, uh, these commerce procedures and terminologies and things like that and concepts are something I have rejected uh, f- for a long time. Um, maybe about a year ago, I started changing my opinion of that, saying that it looks like a duck, it w- waddles like a duck, and it quacks like a duck, so it must be a duck. That these uh, commerce gurus were right, there was bonding going on in the background. Uh, even though no one had any proof of anything like that. Well, these dockets are proof of that, that that's what's happening. Um, and I and I lost my train of thought of what your, what your question was. Uh, uh, it, it looks like it's real. Oh, okay, it looks like it's real. Um, I'm new to this commerce, too, and, and uh, I'm looking forward to the opportunity of forgetting what I've just learned and get back to the law, uh, which is where my heart is, uh, focusing on trust law and things like that. Uh, Doyle, you're asking for Tim's email address. You can't have that. If you want to send me uh, an email, uh, County Notary, all one word, C-O-U-N-T-Y-N-O-T-A-R-Y at Gmail. That's God Mail and our God is Almighty Yahweh, gmail.com. And you know what? I think I forgot to put that in the beginning of this broadcast. Shame on me, Father Yahweh. Uh, I'll forward the email on to Tim. If he wants to answer you, he will. So, uh, 
it 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 looks like it's real. We'll find out Monday because there'll be an accounting sheet. Uh, there has they have to provide an accounting sheet of where these funds are coming from. Uh, so we'll know. All right, and one more, perhaps a silly question, but the bonds that get removed from the public side, <clears throat> those bonds get traded into the private, or do they just like do bonds ever you know get torn up or you know discarded in some way? No, uh, they have a life cycle. Like if you go buy a savings bond, it matures in so many years. Uh, normally, all bonds have a um, maturity date. Normally, uh, so they have a they have a life cycle. Uh, so yes, they could be uh, well discarded or saved or whatever for future reference, but they have no. Uh, further uh, monetary value. Uh, it's the private side doing the bond trading and the public side. By, okay, uh, and so once those bonds mature, now that they're out of the public and in the private, once they mature, do um, does that get credited to your account somehow? or? Well, these will never mature. They've been pulled out of the system. That's why all the dockets disappeared. And then they sanitized them and put them back. They pulled them all out of circulation. Oh. And then, and then yes, uh, the amount of the bonds plus the profits are, are, are on uh, the vessel's uh, uh, manifest. And they have to, have to be uh, loaded onto the vessel. Okay. Interesting. And It'll be in gold and silver. Wow. Very interesting. I'm st- it's starting to sink in. It's taking me some time. <laughs> me but I'm me too. To get it. So, okay, thank you, David. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're welcome, dear. Um, House of Kaur, you have a lot to learn, or you wouldn't have to ask the question. Uh, Motla, 68, you have a driver's license, social security card, certificate of birth, uh, rent receipt for an apartment or a home, mortgage, credit card, debit card, um, using utilities. All those things are mammon related. They're all in the world system. Unless you're out in the middle of uh nowhere uh, growing all your your uh <clears throat> food on a farm, sewing your weaving your own uh wool, uh raising your own sheep, uh shearing them, spinning the uh the wool into yarn and uh Sewing and knitting your own clothing, uh, using uh, animal uh, skins and such things uh, for footwear and coats and whatever and this and that. Uh, you're in the system using mammon like the rest of us. So, and and I don't mean to say that uh, to be critical of you. Certainly. Uh, and I get what you're saying. Your heart's not in it. <clears throat> but uh, Doyle's asking me, did I speak with the agent with all the answers to all my questions? Not yet. But uh, I, spec- I spoke to the principal, and he's hearing my my prayers, and he has all the answers. So, any further questions, comments, criticism? Folks, you can star six and unmute yourself.
going once. <clears throat> Questions, comments, criticisms. Folks, don't don't be bashful. Uh I used to be nervous when I called into radio talk shows here locally, you know. We're all f- family here. Questions, comments, criticism. Hi, David. It's Randy again. I have another question. <laughs> Good. Um, I just don't want the dead air space, so, and I'm trying to get used to speaking up a little bit. Um, so uh, let, let me understand, because uh, I'm trying to grasp the whole concept around the birth certificates. Okay, that's a granting. Okay. Go back and listen to my pre- three or four uh, previous broadcasts, and I explain that to you. It's you're the grantor. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, there's four signatures on that document. Your mother signs as the the what the uh, informant. Yeah. She she she's testifying that you're her child. The doctor is signing. Uh, the attending physician is signing as the agent for the Bureau of Census. Uh, then the hospital director or administrator signs as the second witness. The doctor being the other one. There's another signature on that document. Whose is it? The father's? Nope. Nurse. He's not present. They don't let him in the delivery room. Normally. Normally. Yahweh? What did you say? <laughs> Who? Whose did you say? I was teasing. I was saying Yahweh. <laughs> uh, yours. B- yours. Through your birth, uh, through your footprint. Bingo. Your marks. Yes, I do remember that. Yeah, you're the grantor. Okay. It well, appears appears as though that's where everything begins. It's very suspicious. They never ask for this f- footprints again. <laughs> they don't do anything by accident. I can assure you of that. Everything is diabolically planned out. <clears throat> Okay. Well, okay. is where are those birth certificates actually held? Is it at the DTC or uh you know no, no, the, funds no. or No, the DTC doesn't hold those. Uh, I would say a guesstimate they're either at the Department of Commerce or the Vatican. We'll try and determine at which that is. Or I may find out Monday. I will not be under a non-disclosure agreement that you hear these people are expecting involving these legacy cards because the way that was shown to us to do this is not the commerce guru way. It's not the Tony King fraud way. This is Yahweh's way. This is the answer to the prayers that I've had for some 16 years of how to obey his commandment to come out of the world and not be a part of it for the knowledge of discernment of how to do that. Well, I do believe that those who are righteous, uh, you know, have access to the gift of that. You're not talking to a righteous man, lady. (laughs) Well, <laughs> I'm, we, I'm, we've all we all have a past, but I'm, I'm struggling holding the marine in check <laughs> at all times. <laughs> <laughs> you were a marine in the past. No such thing as was a marine. Is a marine. <laughs> Former marine. Okay, got it. United States marine. When I was dumb and and uh, dumber. Yeah. How long did you serve for? Uh, almost four years. Really? That mm. short? Well, I got blown up early a couple times. Uh, shot a, shot a few times. Bayoneted once. Thought I'd try them all. See see which one I liked the best. 
Where were you in them or uh, or thereabouts? <laughs> And no, we were never in Cambodia. I know that. That yeah. I know. <laughs> now that I have my uh, right uh, to be keeping bare arms back, I might get a cotton picking uh, grenade launcher and a minigun to play with. Just as toys. We have no uh, interest in harming anyone. And, uh, but, uh, defense of ourselves and, uh, and our brothers and sisters, if necessary. <clears throat> Well, I'll tell you, I've been going through your archives. And, I, I uh, po- apologize for them being so laborious, dear. Uh, as soon as we can afford it, we're going to hire a professional audio e- editor. <laughs> 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 Clean those things up. Get rid of all my ahs and ohs and sniffles <laughs> because uh, because of the stroke. My left lung is uh, left side is paralyzed. The lung doesn't work real well. I. Uh, Load up, left side loads up with mucus all the time, and this, my smoking doesn't help. But at least it cuts down on my uh, urge to choke the crap out of some lion lawyer. And uh, we're gonna have those split up into four-hour uh, parts. Uh, have those split up into four-hour. Uh, I'm echoing back. Someone star six and mute out, please. Thank you. Do I sound that terrible? <laughs> uh, just delayed when it comes over the computer like that. So no, I'm I mean the voice. <clears throat> I'm a little fatigued. <clears throat> well, you have Was your shivers by your side tonight, correct? <laughs> My show is regal, yeah. Uh, just a little bit. I've been sitting here sipping on it. Uh, I think you're funnier with champagne, actually. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, we might be doing champagne this week again. <laughs> but anyway, when I was going through the archives, I was listening to you about the GSA forms. Yes, I, st- I, I still have a lot of... Back- what I still doing? have a lot of faith in this, that, that there's got to be uh, ways to use those. Although they're not a, <clears throat> they're not an avenue to uh, redemption or sovereignty. They're just a band aid. I'm sorry for interrupting you. It's a delay in my microphone, my headset. I didn't mean to talk over you. Go ahead, dear. No, I'm just. Uh, you know, uh, uh, approaching subjects that I want to ask you on questions because, you know, I'm learning right now. So please continue about the GSA. Thank you. Mm, uh, we're learning too every day. Um, because of my prior experiences of having an electrical construction business and and uh, contracting with HUD, uh, which is the government, uh, we use those forms some of them and doing that, uh, of course, not looking at it from the perspective of the commerce guru. Uh, but my Masonic experience uh, gives me a, a perspective of what's hidden in things, and uh, they they just seem they just seem right. They just feel right that there's uh, got to be a way to do that. Uh, we now know that there's a number uh, that you need probably to make those work in a non-standard manner. And uh, that would be the master account number or 
the uh, the new EIN number that they will probably uh, uh, sign to the name on Monday, and that number will begin with a nine eight. <clears throat> uh, uh, designating that it's a foreign entity, the 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 all caps name, uh, because it has become a foreign bank of central issue. So it will get a nine eight uh, EIN number. A foreign bank of central issue, you said. Yes, ma'am. I can print a money order out here on my color laser printer, and put that master account number on there and any amount that I want to put on there and sign it and deposit it. Hmm. Okay. It issues trust it's it's a it's a it's a trust, it's a foreign trust. Uh that you started that with your little footprints. And uh you've always had the ability from 18 years on to issue c- trust currency. You're, you're a, a bank uh, of uh, of uh, a foreign bank of uh, of uh, central issue, just like the Federal Reserve issues currency. Right. But this trust can do the same thing. Let me ask you: if you, I notice you have a lot of great files on the uh, uh, Google Group. If mm-hmm. you want to do further reading about the trust. Is there any particular PDF one that you recommend? Um, I, I'm not sure if I listed the links, but uh, why don't you go into Google Books uh, search uh, on uh, Google search and put in trust, and you'll find some antiquian. Uh, excuse me a moment. Trying not to sneeze. I always sneeze in twos. I'm sorry. Cotton picking cat hair. <laughs> uh, uh, type in trust in Google. And, and then uh, you can do it in a Google search, and then it will give you an option up at the top, Google Books, and it will bring up some great antiquian trust manuals in there. And uh, they don't really go into trust law. Uh, it, uh, well, yes, they do too. Uh, there, I think there's one or two on there that are uh, to to really understand any subject, no matter what it is. You've got to locate and master the maxims and principles of that subject. Yeah. That is what. That's why these commerce gurus can't quite hit the bullseye, is because none of them have taken the time to go and do that. And they arrive at erroneous uh, conclusions all the time. And uh, they promote what their uh, latest uh, silver bullet is as the latest technology, but it's still defective. Uh, The latest technology is prima facie evidence that the former technology was was erroneous. so they they will continually uh, uh, introduce uh, the new technology, see, until they go and correct that mistake. So um, there there are uh, maxims and principles of trust law, uh, antiquian books, and I have actually, oh gosh, maybe 300 books here that we're going to have scanned and put into PDF files that are out of. Uh, the public as far as copyrights concerned and we'll make those available to everyone. So uh and yes I've read them. <laughs> so all right. I I'm I'm gonna uh, the, uh, because that's really where I'm focusing on. You know, I, I I've you know, being new into this whole redemption, I, I've I'm really one that has sat back and wanted to just, you know, take it all in. I want to sponge it in. And some of these gurus out there, they have everybody running off do, doing all these different processes, uh, you know, all these bud words, secure party creditor and so on. 
there are people out there who have had successes with it. Others haven't had success. But I, I really believe um, that it is about trust and contract law and really understanding that. And um, so I feel, you know, that's where it will be beneficial, at least for me, to really sort of dive into the study with that and understand how to move forward with that uh, versus doing all these other methods with the UCC and, you know, uh, you know, putting a financial statement against yourself, and I, I just, I just don't see it working for a lot of people. And I could be wrong, you know, uh, but just sort of my opinion. Well, you're not putting a financing statement against yourself; it's against the name. Uh, that's just some of the uh, terminology that you've been programmed to use, and that you've got to correct. Uh, all of these commerce procedures, folks, are just band-aids. They can never be more than that. You, you, you just—if <laughs> you're looking for the one uh, silver bullet that kills the werewolf and it doesn't bother you again, you're never going to find that in commerce. This commerce system operating in the world today is the one that the uh, uh, scriptures warns us about. Uh, it's a contravoluted system. It's not true contract law. Uh, it's um, it's the same as the Barfly Courts moved merged law and equity uh, together in a blender and came out with uh, their Barfly procedures that you see operating in those courts today. You can see what the results of that is. It's <laughs> you cannot understand it. It makes no sense. It never results in justice or fairness or anything else. And the same holds true with the commerce system that's operating. That all these gurus are trying to be the snake charmer of, and the Pied Piper, and so on and so forth. They're never going to master that thing. They're they're always going to be uh, updating and researching and and uh, 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 trying to figure out this and try and figure out that. You know what? Uh, I got better things to do. Uh, I want to go fishing. You know, uh, I'm going to stick with what uh, I understand to be the only reality, and that is trust law and the principles and maxims of law. And uh, uh, that's what I've tried to do uh, for the, over 38 years. It's uh, served me very well. So uh, you, you're you got a good head on your shoulders, lady. <clears throat> I salute you. Uh, I began where you are. Uh, uh, didn't have a clue. <laughs> a long time ago. Uh, the advantage I have over most people is that grandma or grandpa and dad taught me that I had to first master the principles and maxims of a subject, be it farming or carpentry or electrical or plumbing. Uh, the trades and 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 things like that before I would become proficient, a craftsman in those subjects, and uh, I applied that those principles throughout my life and everything. Um, um, no matter what it was when I uh, um, approached a new subject. I always looked to see to find the maxims and principles of that subject. I knew I had to do that, uh, you know. So that's it. But I salute you, ma'am. Anyone else? Comments, questions, criticism. Fourteen minutes to the witching hour. Ah, oh, we lost Regan, unless he's in here as a guest. Anyone else? Comments, questions, or criticism? Uh, Sal, uh, is 
the law, the only way to take uh, care of debts. Uh, when you're in the law, there there are no debts in the world. That's what you see going on with me now. Uh, take being uh, taken out of the world, and uh, the world can't find me anymore in the public. See, uh, so there are no debts. There are only benefits, in uh, worldly benefits, though not spiritual ones. Uh, guest 12 is asking, what color did we end up using for f footprints? We always use blue and everything, uh, t f type fonts and everything we do. Uh, never black. That's in commerce, and it's a dead color. Oh, it's not a color. Actually, it's the absence of color. Uh, it's just representative of death and evil. <clears throat> and s surely the world... Uh, demonstrates that by everything they do is in black and white, neither which of color are colors. It's all dead stuff. Um, is your blood green? <clears throat> are, are you green? We're not Martians. Uh, why blue is because the sky is blue. When you look at the sky, you see blue. When you look at this marble from from uh <clears throat> from orbit, you see blue. There's a reason for that. Blue is life. Uh although our blood may be uh red, it appears uh blue in our veins through our skin, and that blood is proof of life. See? I'll be darned. Guest 12 remembers something from the archives. I think you just performed a first here tonight. Uh, blue is energy. Green is life. Yes, green is life. Uh, but but not as it pertains to man. Uh, that is, it, green is per life pertaining to plants. And we're not plants. Uh Uh, Polar Bet Seymour, uh, Guest 68 is asking me if I know of a uh, legal maxims in law and equity by Seymour S. Um, uh, think that's French, which I never took any French classes. Uh, Poubet, P E L O U B E T. Uh, I've never seen that one. Questions, comments, criticism. Going once. <clears throat> Going twice. Okay, David, I'll bite one more time. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, I've been wondering about this whole thing, and I understand the deception that has been perpetrated on the American people. But part of me also, you know, I'm a left brain person, and I'm very logical, sometimes a little bit too logical. And my question is, how do you not feel that we need some sort of tracking or accountability in general of all, you know, of all the people in the world? I'm not saying what the system that's in place is rightful or, you know, ha you know, it's it, it's been deceptive in in how it's been, you know, put forth with us. But don't you believe that there should be some sort of tracking or identification of, yes, this person has been born into this world and this is who this person claims 
I mean, you know, there's been a lot of fraud, a lot of deception. Yes, all that, you know, that that has taken that has taken place with people. So I'm just interested and curious on your thoughts on, you know, what you think could be done differently with that. You un- you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I'm trying to unmute myself. I'm having trouble with this mute button on my mic. Hmm. Headset. Maybe uh, succumbing to my (laughs) using it a great deal over the past four years. Um, It's my position that uh, con artist uh, fraud, um, uh, things like that, play on our uh, greed and egos, and uh, 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 sometimes uh, just being uh, uh, normal, uh, everyday people and and not uh, uh, real sharp, you know, as to uh, razzle and dazzle. I I can't think of the words I want to use to explain that, but um, uh, just being normal people, and, and they do play on on those uh, um, weaknesses. But we all know the difference between right and wrong. And uh, uh, you're right; it's not just people of the continent of North America that are deceived. It's everybody on on the planet through this world system. It all plays on deception. That's what uh, Lucifer tried to do to Yeshua on that mountain when he showed him the world. Uh, figuratively speaking, or probably they were on a mountaintop, but that wasn't necessary because he's just showing him this world system of the delusion and deception that he had created, that he was given the authority to rule over and uh, offering him uh, uh, rulership over it if he uh, bow down and worship him. Uh, he wasn't deceived uh into doing that, of course. Uh, And that's what we are commanded to come out of, uh, not be a part of. Uh, Scripture says we're all born into the world. Um, That's that's because of the, well, modern day, it's it's this birth registration that starts. But at what point in our lives are we responsible also? Uh, You know, uh, do, do we have uh, responsibility to uh, be experts on on sports, um, uh, drinking beer, uh, racing cars, uh, hunting, uh, pursuing uh, uh, men and women, uh, uh, other activities, or do we have a responsibility to research and learn our, for ourselves? and uh, um, assemble together like we're doing here tonight and uh, all the lawmen and commerce gurus do trying to figure things out. Uh, Even though I'm critical of those folks, you've got to give them credit that at least they're trying to better themselves and figure out what's going on, how it's being done, and and what can be done to stop it and prevent it and things like that. And uh, I guess I failed to give them those credits, uh, so I'll do so now, tonight. Um, uh, so how much of it is their, <laughs> is, is their fault and how much of it is our responsibility? I I've come to terms with, the way I feel about that as it pertains to myself uh, some years ago, that um, it's more my fault than it is theirs. And, uh, you know, uh, my I'm sure as all of our mothers and fathers were <clears throat> had known better, they wouldn't have put us in those public school systems and gotten a birth registration and social security and all those other things unfortunately they didn't know any more than than I did for the majority of my life uh, didn't know any better we're, we're just aren't we all uh, no matter what the subject is or the 
area of interest, uh, trying to correct that so these children will not grow up under the bondage of commerce that uh, we are under and uh, struggling to get out of. So, did that kind of answer your question? Yes, it does. It does. But, you know, I, I, I believe that we need some sort of an accountability system in place. Uh, do I believe it's the way that, you know, this whole well, process has been put on us? No. Uh, but well, it isn't Lucifer uh, commissioned, uh, given authority by uh, Yahweh to do what he's doing? Certainly I, he is. Yeah. He is. Yeah. So so there is no accountability for this. This is his system. Well, but that's, it, it, yes. It, except through judgment. It's not mine. It's not going to be mine. They, but people who are of this world and uh, worldly-minded and, and such things uh, may end up in his company for eternity. Um, but... Um, uh, uh, what do I want to say? Accountability. You, you have to be careful with that. Uh, this is the one thing that I put off. Uh, scripture talks about putting off the the, ma- the dead man, the old man, uh, 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 being born again, and things like that. Uh, I've come to understand that I had to put that marine in check and stop uh, looking at a lot of things uh, from a position of revenge to hit back, to strike back. And um, uh, because if you can't forgive, you will not be forgiven. And uh, the Lord God, Yeshua, says that revenge is his. He owns that one. That's his. Uh, uh, revenge will be, will be his. It, now, you can determine who the revenge is going to be focused on. Those who did you wrong or yourself for striking back and wanting vengeance. If someone has done you wrong, I'm not saying you're not entitled to restitution. But uh, uh, I believe that if you pursue your life in a correct manner, as I've tried to do, I've failed terribly at it. Uh, But it seems that in spite of all my shortcomings, uh, I'm being rewarded anyway. Uh, by giving everything over to the Lord God, Yeshua, to deal with. Uh, if I take vengeance against uh, people I feel that were wronged, have wronged me, uh, like the FBI or the bar flies or something like that, then I'm going to take that wrong that they did and put it on my back, and their vengeance will be paid by me for those, for that, you see. So that accountability... Uh, issue. Uh, just just be careful with it. Uh, if in fact these people are all, all operating actually in trust law as trustees, then uh, the principles and maxims of law require them to uh, uh, be subject to judgment and uh, and be accountable. See. As we all will be, we'll, we will be accountable here on this earth as we will in the kingdom. We we have to remember that uh, one of the most foolish concepts that the world in, deludes us into believing is we can make a decision today and change something that's going to happen or not going to happen tomorrow. It's like what's going to happen on Monday. I have no control over that. Uh, however it's going to turn out, it's already written, and that's as it will be. I would just be following along the lines, like reading a book, of the, uh, only as I'm uh, doing that, uh, going through each minute. We do this each day. We're just uh, <clears throat> we're just following along the lines, like reading a book. It's already written down. See, so whatever will be, will be, and it'll be always decision. We, we cannot unleash things on the earth that is not unleashed in heaven. We can't bind things down here and restrain them and stop them that are not bound up in the kingdom. And that's why these commerce people will never 
bind up commerce or straighten it out. You're just not going to accomplish that. That's Lucifer's system. It's his domain. It's one of his tools he's given to use. And uh, it, it, it's not going to stop until Yeshua returns and straightens it all out. Um, uh, I, I've kind of learned to uh, let it roll off my back, so to speak. Now, you can bring the Marine out uh, <clears throat> by doing certain things, like um, terminating my <laughs> my Comcast service uh, when you're invoicing me in pesos and I'm paying you in U.S. dollars, so, uh, things like that, uh, or um, attempt to harm myself or someone, uh, th that'll get a reaction. But uh, for the most part, um, I, I just don't, I, I, I don't bear ill will against people. I, I just don't do that, you know. Um, it's not worth my time and, and my one, using up the resources of my one brain cell to try and worry about or be concerned about such things, you know. I have a limited resource of one functioning brain cell, and I have to use it uh, sparingly. Questions, comments, uh, criticism, folks. Someone on mute didn't speak up. <clears throat> Questions, comments, criticisms. Hi, David. This is Harley. Hey, uh, how's my cotton picking buddy Beacon doing tonight? He's fine. He's he's dancing all over the place here. Hey, hey, Beacon. Hey, partner. Rough. <laughs> He took yeah, off. He took off from us. <laughs> He's up on the couch. He's <laughs> potato tonight. We came downstairs to get a bite to eat. We got hungry. We didn't have anything but a small salad today, so we cooked some eggs and ate them. <laughs> and uh -huh. So we're full now. But I, I just wanted to say praise to Yahweh because he is the one who makes all of this possible, not some of it, but all of it. And it's by his word, when we live, we are blessed accordingly. When we live his word, and not just hear it, but do it, he blesses each one of us in word, thought, and deed. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the rest of you, but I have just been emptying out to Yahweh to do his will to seek his face for the, and, and for him to give me direction as to exactly where he wants me, what he wants me to do. And a lot of times we pray and we just sit and wait, and there's a time for that. But sometimes we have to just go and do the things he says do, or we'll get left behind. Couldn't, and agree. Couldn't agree more, Harley. He, Yahweh is so, Beacon is running upstairs. He is just running to and fro. He's happy. <laughs> He's happy. He's happy. And even the little animals here from Yahweh, when we get happy, he gets happy. <laughs> he gets joyful too. And, and it's so precious to know Yahweh, to know his true name, to serve him in spirit and in truth because it is just a blessing to be free in him. He is where our freedom is. He is where that bondage breaks away. Yes, he is, Harley. And and We're I shared with you tonight, tonight a little bit before the show here, before the broadcast, rather, about the, the the scripture note that I received today 
that the end has come. I mean, it's, 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 it's an end to, to struggle, 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 struggle for survival. Yahweh has heard, and Yahweh causes us to be stable in him. We have a sound mind, not a crazy mind, but a sound mind if we walk in Yahweh. If we walk in Yeshua, we have a sound mind. The Holy Spirit, the Comforter, is with us, and I, I just cannot say that enough because I've had I've had a, an extreme period of where Yahweh has had me to rest, and He said, "I will fight your battle for you." And there have been times I've had to fight to win. And there have been many, many times that Yahweh has fought those battles for me. And I came out a winner in him because I honor him. And he is no respecter of his children. He loves us all. And we need to know his love. We need to know that one-on-one relationship in our spirit, man. It all comes from the heart. And you know that, David. If it's not in the heart, it's not there. If it's not coming from the heart, it's not original, it's not real. Because Yahweh made us from his heart in a perspective that he loved us so much he created us for himself. Can't agree more, Harley. I just wanted to let you know how much I honor Yahweh in hearing what you have to say. To give all the credit, the honor to Yahweh. To thank him for the messenger because you give credit where credit is due. You're well studied. And you're teaching us. Hopefully we will learn. But he takes, Yahweh takes away oppression from us if we will just listen to him and hear his voice, seek his face, and honor him. I, I can't say anything else, David. <coughs> Guess thank- six. You're welcome, dear. Uh, guest 67, you're gone now. I'm, I uh, muted you out in the chat and blocked you. If you want to blaspheme the name of Yahweh, uh, do it someplace else, please. Go practice your foolishness somewhere else. <clears throat> it's not welcome here. There can be a severe price for that. Well, it, w- the world teaches us that, that it's a joke, you know. There's no God. I mean, <laughs> that was the greatest uh, <clears throat> w- uh, uh, victory of of, uh, of Lucifer was first convincing everybody that he didn't exist and then that uh, Yahweh didn't exist. And uh, uh, it's, uh, <clears throat> if it feels good, do it. You know, and what yes. uh, the end justifies the means, and su- such other deluded concepts that just lead to oblivion in this life, life dysfunctionality between people, and uh, and the whole cotton picking society. It's just dysfunctional. I, I mean, uh, <laughs> just take a shovel and shovel it off into space somewhere. That's all it's good for. Right. It's Yahweh's yeah. truth, always. Yeah. But it's true, always. Whether whether anybody likes it or not, it's truth, and you cannot move it. You can move away from it and pay a price, a great price. Yeah. But I would rather be marked in Yahweh with his seal, with his plan in my life, in my heart, than to have the whole world and the wealth of the world. And all that's in it. 
Thank you for sharing that with us, Harley. You're welcome. Thank you, David. I thank our Father and Yahweh in heaven. I know you'll do that. Well, folks, I'm sipping the last of my hot tea here tonight. Questions, comments, uh, criticism. One, two, three, got five callers left. Questions, comments, criticism. Hey, I, I have a question. Go ahead, speak up, young man. Okay, can you hear me now? Uh-oh. I sure can. Okay. Hey, well, my my question is, uh, I'm the, actually the guy, the last caller from your last last call. Just call me Jay. Mm-hmm. And my my question for you, because you brought it up, the subject about God, is there God? If you know, so a lot of people don't believe in God. My my question, because I you know I've been studying and I've been searching, as I told you last week. You know, I've been really wanting to find out the truth, and the fact that some some believe that we are really um, light. We are all light, and but we we have somehow they've managed to create us create a, a light that is um, has some has matter. Do you have you ever heard of that, or do you know anything about that? Your living spirit and your creator, almighty Yahweh, and the Lord Yeshua are pure energy beings. That that energy being inside you is what the world refers to as a soul. It's not a, it's a living spirit. A soul is a personality. Uh, that's what continues to exist. You cannot destroy energy. Right. <clears throat> okay. That That's just a... Proven by uh, the law of physics. That's a maximum principle of physics. Uh, Science cannot explain the existence of that energy or what happens to it after we pass on. Uh, They have proven that the body weighs less uh, by a few ounces after we die. But because they're atheistic based of God doesn't exist, they're not going to try and explain that or uh, uh, have any interest in it. It's, um, what is life? Uh, Everything is made up of elements that come from this planet, no matter what it is. But no scientist will ever be able to create a plant or rock or air or animals or birds or men or women uh, with with nothing, starting out with nothing. They can't do that. And they cannot give living things, uh, animals or man, animation and life. Right. They never will. That's not going to happen. So th- this is the way I look at things. <clears throat> Atheists and uh, agnostics and and different people can have their beliefs and and this and that. Uh, What I believe, when somebody tells me they're the foremost authority in in some subject, I ask them if they know everything that that ever... ever, uh, They know if they have knowledge of all knowledge. If, If they know everything there is to know. Most people have enough common sense that they'll say no, they don't. And then I would ask them if they have, if they know half of everything there is to know. And most people, uh, even somewhat morons, <clears throat> will answer no. They don't even know what half of everything there is to know. And I proposed this question to a the superintendent of a state penitentiary that has a doctorate degree in uh, solitary confinement. Uh, when he came in and kicked my books around and asked me if I believe all this garbage that uh, that I read and study and all this other th- things, and I asked him these questions, and he admitted that he didn't even know half of everything there was to know, and then I said, "Well, doctor, uh, let let's say uh, uh, f- uh, for an example uh, that you do know half of everything there is to know." 
<laughs> would, would it would it be possible that what I know exists in the half that you do not, and is just as valid and true and reliable as what you know, the limit limited amount that you know? And he just turned around and walked out. See, so um, I can risk being wrong about being a believer of, in the Creator and the way I feel about Him. Uh, I'm not going to lose anything. It doesn't cost me anything. Uh, I, I, uh, I don't have a, a, a dollar in the, in the card game, see. Uh, some time, uh, thought processes and energy and things like that. And uh, I'm going to die one day. Everybody does. Right. Uh, Ill, Ill regardless if I believe the things I do believe or if I uh, conduct my, my life as an atheist or an agnostic, uh, I'm still going to die, as they are. Uh, I, I'm going to play the smart, the smart hand, see, with my life. That's the way I look at it. I, I've got nothing to lose and only uh, benefits to gain. So that's my position on it. Dutchman logic. <laughs> oh well, I, I I hope I didn't lead any way. I was just this is pure understanding, wanting to under, seeking understanding. Uh, kind of like you you know it, but it's good to hear from someone else. Um, <clears throat> the the other the other question, I, and I and I'm not you know I, I debated if I was going to ask you this question on the radio. I actually preferred to email it, but I'm going to ask anyway. What I I notice with everybody, all the gurus, everybody, and 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 actually in this case it was it was you. You have a process, and you've gotten it. You've gotten it to the point, and I respect you for that. And no, I, no, 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 no. This is not mine. Right, <laughs> right. No, 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 no. Timothy was given the knowledge of how to f- determine the the master number, and Timothy believes that he was led to me. Uh, I take great stock in that. Okay. He and I believe the same things as it comes to our Creator and things like that. And then it was just put into my mind to do the things I did, uh, utilizing uh, uh, experience and knowledge that I gained in, in uh, previously in my life. That, that's all. It's not something I've done. It is something I've I've been led to. I believe me, I, you know, really, I think I'm a pretty smart guy. I have a pretty high IQ, but you'll never hear me say that. Uh, I always talk about having one brain cell because that's the reality of what I do know versus all the knowledge that exists. And uh, I couldn't have figured this out. I I just couldn't have. I know how it works now. They they are very good at what they do and hiding things. It's it's just <laughs> I couldn't have done it. Some higher power. I'm just not this lucky. I don't care what I've survived in my life, and I've survived a lot of of things that I should have died. Uh, uh, I'm just not that lucky. I don't buy lottery tickets because I don't win lotteries. You know. Uh, this is the big lottery. This, this is the Powerball uh, uh, of all Powerballs, and I don't have to pay any taxes on it. They, so, are, are lotteries designed for for us to win, or are this something that the elite has designed for themselves? Oh no, it's just for bonding. Okay, it, it's it's a revenue generating uh, activity for for the corporate governments, and then they do the all this bonding in the background. Every lottery ticket, I used to uh, I buy occasion. Oh, excuse me, cotton picking hot tea. Um, I, I used to I buy lottery tickets occasionally. I may continue to do that. I don't know. Uh, uh, when it's up over two hundred fifty million or something, I'll go down it. I'll throw in two bucks, you know, and I'll buy a lottery ticket. And I used to save them here. I use them for doily or placemats now for cups and glasses <laughs> because uh, uh, because of finding out what these uh, commerce gurus uh, have have learned and, and 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 taught everyone that 
that that cotton picking lottery ticket's got a bond number on it. <laughs> probably they're probably trading that thing. I have no doubt they do. They trade every one of those little lottery tickets. They just bundle them all up, and and they're making more than the lottery winners do, doing that. Hundreds of t- if not thousands of times more. <laughs> of course, it's not money, you know, but uh, it it's. Uh, I'm just not that lucky. Never have been. But I I am I'll tell you this, mister, I am blessed. That I am. Blessed every day. Like that man opening a door for me at the bank Friday. You know, I get I uh just blessed with seeing the good side of people that'll stop and and go out of their way and take their time to hold a door for me. I don't even have to ask. You know, and I usually don't. I try and work my way in the doors myself, and I can do that, uh, even with just one hand. Uh, but um, just a blessing to see the good side of people. All races, all colors, all ages, young and old, boys and girls, men and women, you know. Uh, a lot of good people out there, worthwhile saving, in my opinion. So. Okay. I'm I'm gonna email you a question because I, I I'm I'm thinking that I shouldn't ask it on, over live, and I I I ask that if you you know want to will you please answer it and just email it back to me, and it'll it'll come to you. My name is Jay, and okay. I'll identify myself as the last caller from two shows. <laughs> yeah, I remember you. Thanks okay. for coming back. I oh, answer I, enjoyed all, it. I I answer all emails. Okay. So, sometimes people don't like the answer, <laughs> but uh, okay. But I answer every email. Yeah, as I said before, you are good, and uh, you. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. I'm not. No, I'm a sinner, a convicted sinner and liar. Uh, it, it's so just uh, for, just call me fortunate. I'm blessed. That's the reality of. of You're blessed. Honor. All right. Yeah. I'll call. That. Yeah. I'll say that. You're definitely blessed. And you you have a lot of knowledge, and I'm still listening to your uh, listen to the old archives, and yeah. they're good. I mean, even from the very start, much of the stuff that you say now is is pretty much the same things that you said back then, and it's just other nuggets that are in there. Yeah. Can't deviate from the truth. It's all based on principles and maxims of law. That's what I like. Yeah, stays consistently yeah. the yeah. same. It ain't my stuff. I plagiarized it from people that did research and wrote books and and uh, put stuff on the internet and and different things. Uh, I, I'm just blessed with the uh, ability uh, to look at things from a different angle and see them differently, and uh, use the research of uh, of people and their knowledge a different way. That, that's all. Yeah, it's all the, the only way I've ever looked at it. Uh, you know, I was born with uh, a clean slate, uh, with the exception of the knowledge of good and evil, and how to raise a ruckus, get what I wanted. <clears throat> you know, crying and throwing a tantrum. <clears throat> That's good. Uh, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. <laughs> it do. It do. <laughs> Ask Comcast. <laughs> I'm not getting the invoices anymore. <laughs> They don't want to see that cotton picking wheelchair in there anymore. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. That was that was good. That that was really yeah. eye opening and I I've noticed all my a lot of my receipts don't even have they doesn't have the dollar sign at all. Nothing. No. They're just uh a fractional a de- a decimal cents. They they're just it's not ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents, it's ninety nine point nine nine cents. Wow, <laughs> that's just what it is. It has to have a dollar sign there, or it has to be written out in dollars. I mean, the treasury doesn't go to the trouble to write out dollar or dollars on those bills for for no reason. Hmm. You, right, they write it out. They don't. Put, they don't use a symbol. They write it out. How about the 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 paychecks? I mean, it's been a long time since I got one of those cotton picking things. Uh, U.S. Treasury uh, checks are. Uh, uh, they have the the pesos, <laughs> or do they? 
Well, I'll, yeah, have to look, I, I'll have to look at that. I don't know. I, mine is direct. My check is direct deposit. And, oh, don't uh, do that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. <clears throat> don't do that. They, they've tried to get me to do that with uh, treasury checks for for 16 years. Direct deposit. I, I get a, 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 in fact, with every U.S. Uh, treasury check, there's a, uh, a piece of card stock in there. Uh, direct deposit. Get your money faster. Be there. Da, 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 da. Nope. Not this Dutchman. I want that cotton pick and negotiable instrument, and I sign them by printing on the back BY colon, expressly reserving all liberties, and I never sign them. <laughs> They're all like that. Uh, I reserve the right to get the gold and silver. And uh it better be there Monday. <laughs> and wow. I wonder I wonder how uh, uh I wonder what the treasury does with that. That's a question I've got to ask ask them is uh how how do they regard my doing that? Uh what what has that done? Uh you know, is is it question. a res have I reserved the gold or the silver? Uh, that was my intent. You know? Where is it at? You know. So how do you get that back? Well, they're giving it back to you now, aren't they? I believe they will. We'll we'll, we'll see. Yeah, I'll, I'll be um, uh, uh, all full restitution made. I have no claim against any man or woman for any wrong. Not even bar flies. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop bashing politicians and bar flies and other corrupt people. Uh, well, they're uh, corrupt by nature. It is their nature. They can change their nature. I'm living proof of that. Living proof of it. Ladybug, I'm blocking you from calling in. How am I doing that? Not blocking you. Did you pay your your, your utility bill in pesos? <laughs> or blame it on me. I I blocked one individual here tonight, and that was sixty seven. He's gone. He's not on the list. And it wasn't Ladybug. David. Hey, honey bunny. <laughs> uh, got a question. Well, maybe the the gentleman wasn't finished. Sorry. Oh, I I am going to listen to the question, and uh, I have I have tons of questions. I but that's just me. I think uh, I have to pick the ones that I think are appropriate for the air, though. Hmm. Uh, one well, one other one other question then. Um, since this this has come about, with the way things are going now, are are are, are you seeing or foreseeing? <clears throat> that there is this huge culling that's going to happen to our great United States, or we're going to become a third world country soon, or it's just them. Well, is, is, isn't it too late? Uh, have we been uh, uh, operating in pesos since 1917? Didn't they export all the industry out of here? Uh, haven't they poisoned our water and our our, our lands and our air? Aren't they spraying us constantly? You know? That they are doing. Uh, ladybug, dear, I'm not blocking you. Honestly, I'm not. Uh, I I don't know what's going on with you not being able to call in. I'm just grateful for the blessing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being facetious. She uh, can ask her question. I, I, I'll listen. I, I see this... Uh, what everybody's alarmed about and things going on in politics in the world and banking and this and that is uh, that's the uh, <laughs> uh, hey folks uh, you're getting us a, a, a little bit of, uh, of a, a warning here you better get right with your creator because if you're not <laughs> all of your commerce notary or other other techniques and remedies and things like that are not going to save you from what 
the judgment that's coming upon the world. Wow. Well, I, 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 I'm not into the notary things. The county notary, what you're doing, I'm interested in it, but I, I don't use the other stuff. I've studied it and looked at it. I've actually, you know, I reserve my rights on certain things, but the commerce, I, I'm not sure how to navigate in that. I prefer to understand Yahweh's terms and, uh, and then go from there because I'm not sure as to how to navigate with the commerce because it's not consistently Remember, I said what you've said is pretty consistent. You go back into your archives, and what you said is it's still the same today, yesterday, forevermore. And what the commerce guys say, well, one thing, one's, one's a silver bullet, another is not. Oh, well, we tried this, and it's not consistent. So what I'm doing is seeking the knowledge and and staying on my knees for now. That's that's where I am. So some some people have have done uh, what we do and practice what uh, at least part of what we do. And, and and advocate and and use. Uh, I'll use one of my mentors, uh, uh, Rice McLeod, and uh, of course uh, Hartford Van Dyke, who's one of my original mentors, gratefully, uh, as examples. But th- there is nobody that I'm aware of uh, out there in the so-called uh, bowel movement or the Patriot movement that does and teaches and advocates what we do. Um, good. <laughs> I like being uh, on a narrow road. Uh, you're right. Yeah. And, and no. it's like, you, like you're saying, they're, they're, it, this commerce stuff, they're changing it every day. It changes every week. Change, it changes at least a month, every month, for crying out loud. And and that's okay. They're gaining new knowledge and and. and better understanding and discernment of the subject and and so that's ex- be expected but when's it going to work you know exactly. when's it going to work Listen you know there are I, I get a lot of feedback i know a lot of people they're going absolutely crazy trying to figure out how this dumb dutchman did this and they just won't get it uh because their father's not my father and that's the the it's just the the facts you know it's just the facts. So. Well, I I want to say this. I went to a meeting, a Freeman meeting, because I obviously I want to know. And I sat in and I and I listened to uh, I think it was the Sam Kennedy movement that started. And I listened to them and they were talking about that they're starting occupying these offices that were not filled. And I go, I asked, I asked, I just me, just just me, I just asked questions. That sounds like David Clarence's ideas. And, um, of course, it, they had yeah, had some interesting words to say. I won't say what they said exactly, but it was the fact that they didn't acknowledge it. And I go, okay, well, if you're not going to acknowledge it, that means you're not acknowledging something else behind the scene. So I've never been back. Well, that's fine. Um, I, I never have problems with people plagiarizing what we teach and do, uh, as long as they don't misuse it like Keith Levinway did. Um it's uh, it's an it's an honor, you know, isn't it, to be uh, copied, you know, um, you know things like that. And uh, the way I look at it, is if they copy what I what we do and teach and things like this, uh, and and use it long enough, maybe they'll actually figure it out, you know. Oh, well, maybe they will. Maybe I will too. Maybe me too. <laughs> uh, oh wow, that's 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 good. I mean, I I meant no negativity about it. It was just that no, I, I, I like to be on you know the up and up and and you know I was I don't I don't know why there is a need for secrets. I, you know, I, can you say that I'm not a real entity or whatever? What's what's hiding? What what it's, it just seems like government hides things. Uh, even our you know gurus hide things and. It's the commoners don't need to know this. Don't need to know why? Why is that? I'm just a. Well, you, you have these elitists. Me. You have these elitists of the world that think they're better than we are, and they set themselves up, and they they deluded a bunch of people into giving their labor so they could build castles, and uh, 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 live. Uh, uh, luxurious lives and things like that and never do any work. Um, and um, 
we as a people who inhabit this this marble, we can get rid of all this anytime we want to. Just get rid of these rascals. <laughs> get them off the planet. Put them to work. You know, strip them of all their luxuries and uh, that they don't deserve and and things, and bring them down to reality. Uh, it's not going to happen. Unfortunately, the majority of people want to be led around by the nose. They want everything done for them. They don't want to have to make any decisions. They don't want any responsibility. They just want to watch TV and read smut magazines, drink beer, watch the, the Super Bowl, and play computer games, and you know all all this nonsense. They're going to get their comeuppance. That they'll never sh sh uh, shed themselves of those chains of tyranny. Uh, if they're comfortable as slaves, then let them live as slaves. And the majority of the people on the planet will do that. They just will. I cannot be comfortable as a slave. I, I don't know. There's something in me that refuses. I mean, I, I don't want to. I mean, neither do I want to enslave someone else. I just that idea. I, freedom really starts in your head anyway. So whether you're in chains or not, it's in your head. But I just can't led around. That's why I like going from source to source to find out where's that really that truth. Where's the where am I and and what am I? What is my purpose as in the matrix? What is my purpose? It's purpose that drives us all. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Couldn't agree more. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. No, no, don't do that. In the name of Yeshua. I, I need a credit on the other side of the books. Take care of the sins. <laughs> well, didn't uh, 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 Yeshua come for, the, come for that reason? No. He paid the original sins of Adam and Eve. He was okay. Adam reborn. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm. Remember that. that, Remember that, that. Up until that point, we were all we were all cast out and and uh, cursed, and uh, from the point of uh, of uh, the crucifixion of have him giving up the ghost, that original sin or curse was taken off of our backs, and then what we do or don't do is on us. Oh wow, that's a huge sin. That's I like. That's, that's huge. Well, otherwise, uh, I guess I can go out here and lay with the sodomites, uh, uh, abort babies, uh, murder people, rape and rob and pillage, and <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a judgment day. It says in in the law that my knees will bend and my tongue will confess. I will I will inform on myself. I'll be the only snitch in the courtroom. See. That's what the law says. Uh, is that a lie? Uh, do I have a get out of jail free card? No. No, it's an illusion of religion that you, we're all forgiven. No, <laughs> we're we're forgiven of the original sin. See, they're they're right about that. We're all forgiven, but it's only of the original sin of Adam and Eve that cursed us, and that we we ended up not being in paradise, being out here. You know. They they don't tell you the whole story uh, in the religion because it's it's not beneficial to their business and control mechanism. Every knee will bend, every tongue will confess. I'm gonna be there a long time. I got a lot to inform about. <laughs> See. <laughs> be longer than all these broadcasts combined, I guarantee you. <laughs> uh, well, we all we all be there a long time. Uh, that see I understand that what's taking place there is court that's court. Court will be held. And the judge will be Yahweh. Yeshua will take that the sins on him, on him and and grant us grace or not? Who be who do you think would be the, the bailiff? Archangel, 
Michael. That's what I thought. That's it. That was my guess. Yeah. Michael. Studying law and principles and maxims of law is, is open to scripture to me. I understand that l- l- differently than everybody else that I ever met does. Like everything else I, I talk about and 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 uh discuss and advocate and and uh and I don't get a chance to talk about everything. Uh that interests me and things I've learned on these broadcasts. So I kind of got to keep it restricted to just a few subjects or things. <clears throat> so, but when you're hungry, that's what I really thirst after is what the knowledge that you that you are revealing, you know, are confirming. Uh, however, you want to look at that. I that's what I'm I'm thirsting after. Sometimes, you know, just talking about. You know what's going on in the world. That that's fine, but for me, it's more when we you you, you discuss the the differences between who who we are and what they are, and, and how to be separate from that life. I I think if had you not said that you cannot mix sovereignty, you not just said it, but you demonstrated through some paperwork that you are actually allowed to be seen that you cannot resist. It's what to say and not to say is that in that document. Uh, you can't mix commerce and sovereignty. And at that point, it, for me, it was like, that's, uh, yeah, because you, that's what, that was one of the reasons why they wanted separation of church and, and state, because you can't mix the two. You, you can never mix two subjects. You, you uh, create a conflict. That's what's wrong with these evolutionists. See, they they try to mix uh, theory with fact, <laughs> and put, put it up against facts, and and they'll never win the argument, in spite of the lies they they believe and teach. Uh, you, you you can't intermix t- two law forms, and that's exactly what the butterflies did. They they merged law and equity. They have, it's it's just, uh, uh, it's sodomy, is what it is. Are you it's, saying they uh, merged two male, male, two male forms? Well, they 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 merged two forms, forms, um, subjects, uh, law Are and they equity. Like? Okay. Well, they bastardized them. Both okay. they, what they have is a bastard. Not sodomy. I'm sorry. Wrong term. They they just bastardized both subjects, and the principles and maxims of both of them were destroyed and and abandoned in the process. That's why you have the mess you have in this court system. There are no legal principles or maxims in operation there. It's just the will of man. You, you got you got nine knuckleheads sitting on the highest court of your of Washington County <laughs> rolling over an entire continent see lording over it and it's all their opinions look at what they write it, they're telling you it's their opinions yes they do every yeah. time they write yeah. the opinion it's, it's, the opinion of that. It, it, it's their will against mine well who are you <laughs> tell me that Come here and say that to my face. Make me do it. <laughs> and don't send a gunslinger. You come and do it. See? Who do you think you are? That's exactly what I said to those barflies in the U.S. District Court on August the 3rd. Who in hell do you think you are? I will not support your religion, and you cannot compel me to do it. And that's all I said. That I didn't need to say anymore. I can't. I didn't need to. You know, they they threw me in solitary confinement for ninety days. They're not punishing me. I just sit there and and go through my mind, think about things, reason things out. It's, it's a vacation for me. I didn't have to answer the phone or do broadcast. <laughs> I didn't have to do any dishes, you know, or anything. Wow. 
amazing. I don't know about that. It's just the best I can do. One brain cell. Well, I was reflecting on my first encounter with the uh, court system. I actually said, well, not not that colorful, but I did. I asked them, who do they think they are telling me what I should and shouldn't do? And I, at that point, noticing their, remembering their reflection, their, their, their reaction. The conference is scheduled to be broken down automatically in five minutes. To extend the time by 60 minutes, press star eight. Finish your thought. thought. Well, I recognize in their action that they, they was like, they were saying to me that I was onto something, but they weren't going to tell me what I was onto. And I just told them I wasn't going to do what they said. Just point out that direct. And it was actually, it was, it was dealing with my uh, divorce. And once I said it, they didn't bother. They didn't bother me anymore. They waited for me to actually tell my attorney what to do. And that's how it ended. And Mm -hmm. I got whatever I, what I told them to write, told her to write down. That's what she wrote down. And at that time, that's when I started to wake up. I was like, okay, what did I just do? Why did he look at me like that? Why did the judge just wait? You know, it was like a long, this long, long pause. He didn't say I was wrong. He didn't tell me I was stupid. He didn't say, they just all sat there and waited. And I go, okay, I should have, maybe I should have said something else. And I didn't. So, but I didn't know. I didn't have the experience that I have now. But I knew something was wrong. Congratulations, young man. You're on the road, the right road. And with that, I have to interrupt you and end my uh, broadcast. Uh, no, I'm not going to star eight. I'm beat. Jeez, I'm bummies. Uh, thank you, folks. I appreciate uh, calling in, logging in here, and listen, downloading our archives, and uh, we appreciate that. This is David Clarence, expressly reserving all liberties. A notary on the land, York County, nation Pennsylvania, near the uh, barfly-infested corporation county of York and uh, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania uh, corporations, and uh, host for a Voice of Freedom broadcast on TalkShoe.com. We thank uh, TalkShoe for this opportunity. And uh, you folks can reach me as uh, uh, emailing me as County Notary, all one word, C O U N T Y N O T A R Y at Gmail. That's Godmail at uh, uh, and our God is Almighty Yahweh at uh, Gmail dot com. And uh, uh, going to be an interesting week, folks. Uh, young man or anyone else, you had anything else to say? You got a limited time of a minute here, maybe. Thanks, thanks for everything you've done, and uh, blessings to you, and glory to Yahweh. Uh, I agree. Thank you. I'm already blessed, but I'll take all I can get. <laughs> <laughs> Very greedy for blessings. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I appreciate that. Give all Sorry, thanks to Almighty Yahweh. Thank you, folks. Please, Bye. please. I ask. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Blessings, please, David. Please, folks. Please, from the bottom of my heart, please think about the things we're teaching you about your Creator and uh, and think of them very, very carefully and consider them. I, I'm not preaching to you. This ain't religion. This is just reality 101. So, uh, we wish you all well. Have a, a wonderful, blessed week. And... Uh, We hope to have a lot of good war war stories next weekend. (laughs) Is that a proposal, guest 110? (laughs) One more X and one more more O in that line, we're going to be engaged. (laughs) Thanks, folks. Thank you, and blessings to you, David. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks. All right, good night. All right. Be well, good night. Yeah. Pray for me to... Obtain the wisdom of Solomon. I'm going to need it. Yes. Yep.
patience of Job and the wisdom of Solomon. Oh my. I'm off. Yeah. Night. <laughs>